It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Uh, Dudu Herm is here. Yo. <laughs> and our guy Izzy is here. Izzy Let's was, go. Izzy was just telling Wax how thick he is. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Straight away. Waxed our Straight bestie. away. Yeah. 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 Wow, you just going to have to take that, bro. I ain't listening. You're just going to have to take that. <laughs> You're not supposed to listen to everything. Exactly. No, I was talking to Izzy about how many calories does he burn in a day? Because that's something I'm on now because, you know, I'm getting my, my, I'm really taking training serious for the, like, the first or time. Something? Nah, I'm on, I'm on a, a hit training diet. I don't know what Perm got us doing. That's my, yeah. my cousin Tony, but yeah. it's like he, I watch how many calories I just burn in a day just doing nothing. Regular stuff. Yeah. So just sitting down. Just sitting down, walking around. How can you tell? Taylor, have the Apple like Watch. That? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, why, why, did, why does this girl act like there's shit more important than her job? You're going to miss your blessing. Real talk. Sit down right here. Izzy was asking about you. He's like, asking about you. the name. Hello, Taylor. How are you? Pleasure. That's Chloe. Oh, I'll be back. Yo, hey, Taylor. Busy. He said he, he said for some reason you remind him of Chloe, Chloe Bailey. Bailey. I Chloe never said that. Yo. For some reason. Damn. <laughs> she's got pants on, so I don't know what the thing looks like. So. <laughs> God damn. You can tell he ain't from here. <laughs> you still talking like it's the 90s. <laughs> you still talking like it's the early 2000s. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what that thing look like. I just want to see. I just want to see. No, just just the, if you said what you say, I want to see if it looked like Chloe Bailey's because she got her thing all online, so you know. That is true. Yeah, that, is true. that is true. That is true. Respectfully. Context. Respectfully. That is Context. true. Context Thank you, Wax. Thank you, Context is key. Listen, they do me dirty, so I got you. We exactly. might help each other. My man, I appreciate that. Yeah. How do you feel, man? You just in here regular, like you just wasn't fighting for your life this week? Yeah. Like, um, <laughs> 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 that shit is a brutal sport, so, man. man walks around all day with crippling anxiety. Real, oh, yeah, <laughs> so, so, so the idea that you're just calm after fighting for your life is shocking to yeah. Um, for me, like it's it's about so after that happens, right? You go backstage, they pull you like different directions, and like you know, media this way, come speak to Megan, come speak to Laura, press conference, and this guy and that. And then right, take this photo, take that photo, and this, and then like I always say, after the fight, I look forward to my shower because mm. that's for me a shower is the most honest place in the world. I feel like I'm Neo in the Matrix when it's got all that white space mm. because really? you're well, you're normally there by yourself, and more so than taking a shit in a public place. Nah, that nah, fuck that. <laughs> nah, but like you're just yeah, you're in the shower and you're you're naked, you're in your bare essentials and with your thoughts. So then I get to really process how I feel, and then that's what helps me kind of like, I guess, uh, get back into being me, get back from being, I guess, the alter ego of being the style bender to just being is being Izzy. And yeah, I mean, now I'm just on I'm on the job right now, just doing this whole media tour. So yeah. it's just similar thing, kind of like you know being pulled in different directions. But then after this is done, I'm going to the game tonight. Same thing. I'll be you know, on my shit, just smile and wave, all that. And then when when it's all said and done, I go back to my hotel room and then silence. Ooh, yeah. 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 But I never yeah. see you get like um. Not like everybody. Be, yeah, like yeah. you never like that. Even at the fights, you never like. It don't ever seem like you're in violent mode. WWE. Like, yeah, 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 it's yeah, like yeah, you yeah, just yeah, enjoy yeah. what you do. There's like it's I do. only one time mm. where I saw you upset in a pre-fight. Remind me. When Costa brought out the white belt. Oh, yeah, that. I That's saw that. That's the only time. Also, Brunson kind of got to me in L.A. one time. This is at the bar before the before the press conference. He was sitting across from me and starts talking shit. And it's on tape. It's on my Instagram somewhere online. And, um, yeah, I, I was just, we started talking shit back and forth. And the security had to kind of come in between and just, you know, settle it. But um, the Costa one, I saw everything beforehand. I was so on for that fight. Uh -huh. Like, I knew there was a bulge in his, um, in his shirt, not in his pants. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Aim for the ball, yeah, man. <laughs> nah, there was a ball like like above his like just around his abdomen. I was like, he's got a belt on. Mm. And then I, saw, I was like, you have a black. If you notice, I said you have a black belt. And he lifts it up and said, I have a gift for you. And then he brings out this fucking you know, bathrobe, the, the bathrobe thing. Yeah. And, I, and I knew that was coming, so I knew he was gonna try and hit it at me. And I kind of like flinched the first time because I thought he was gonna throw it. And then when he threw it, caught it with the left because you know I'm Nigerian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know my way around the belt. <laughs> Since I was a kid, so he, he tried to hit me. I just snatched it with my left, and then whoosh, I whipped him with the right, and then I, and then I got him, and then he's like, Rrr. and I was calm the whole time. Yeah, I was yeah. like, this is all fugazi. This is all acting. It's theatrics. I even said, 
And he's like, and then right there, and then he shows me his game plan. He goes, I'm here, come here, I'm here, come here. And he wants to act like he wants to do a, a, a face off. But I was like, this is what he wants to do in the fight. And guess what in the fight he does? You running, why you running? Come here, come here. So he showed me his hand too early. Oh, yeah. oh, There's levels wow. to this, man. Like wow. people don't realize, you watch it at the, at the weigh-ins. He's like, I'm here, come here. Because he, he wanted to get it back. So if I had obliged and come there, then he would have pushed me or something. But I'm like, no, nah, I'm just going to stay right here. And I was looking at him. And then in the fight, same thing, when he couldn't touch me, he said, why are you running? Why are you running? Come here. And then I came elsewhere. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so in a moment like that, did he, he eventually come? To- <laughs> you got that one. <laughs> did he eventually come to you? Uh, no, nah, I came to him. Okay, on okay. Him. Oh, you didn't yeah. see the end of that one. I don't really oh, helped him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did Damn, man. Is that is that the new biggest fear after losing a fight? Like or getting humped on? Yeah, because before it's just like I don't want to get knocked out in front of all my people. Yeah, 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 but yeah. now you get knocked out and then just and violated. 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 It depends who you're fighting though. Like if you fight Stalin, then you know he might do something like prison that. rules. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Prison rules. Prison rules. <laughs> it just depends. Though. It depends on how it was before the fight. Like this yeah. guy, like I was saying before in, in the other room, I said like uh, it's all about the story you're telling yourself, right? So this fight, that fight, that fight, I felt like he was the quintessential jock or bully that I had to mm. deal with coming up because, you know, I got picked on a lot being a skinny black kid in a town that didn't have many like me. And, yeah, he just reminded me of all these cunts I used to deal with back in the day and the way he was acting before the mm. fight, just being a bully. And I was just like, get you. fuck, I want to take the bite out the bully. So I had to become what I hated and be the bully. So I guess the UFC got to be kind of therapeutic, right? Yeah. Fighting is, it is, yeah. yeah. It's a way of, um, kind of like comedians, I guess, you know, there's, I, like I said, I've got the, the chips and the dip on my shoulder, so there's certain things I want to, I want to express, you know, from past, past trauma that I, uh, I get to do so now. Ooh, so you know, this is interesting. Oh, we were talking about this before. I'm curious, your perspective. He's like, well, tell, tell Charlotte about how you don't want to necessarily let go of the oh, trauma because yeah. it inspires you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is my fear. Yeah. As well with like settling all my trauma, I'm like, is yeah. that going to take away my advantage? That's, that's yeah. why I'm like, no I like therapy. being hungry. Like, no yeah. therapy because therapy going like you need therapy. You, like, <laughs> you need therapy. Stop. Everyone needs therapy, but there's a, there's a certain level so of like. So I, I haven't been to the jungle of uh, Peru yet because um I don't want to touch. I, I I respect the sacred sacraments of the plants. Them, I can't wait to do. But it. I want to. I want to. But. Um, and when it calls me, it will. But I just don't want to go it's there and then. Me, bro. <laughs> oh, it's been calling me for like a year and a yeah, half. Mine's I gotta been like do five it. years. I have to do it. And this I've year. had opportunities to go get it done, even in New Zealand. But I've kind of like you know, I'll wait till I'm done fighting because I don't want to, you know, deal with all the stuff that I haven't dealt with yet. That's uh, just suppress, suppress that this is going to bring out to the forefront. And I'm, mm. I'm forced to look at it. And then what if I come at it, you know, enlightened or understanding where that comes from and then I identify the monster and I kill it and then what if it affects my fighting but this also happened in the, the Avatar series long story short Prince Zuko chasing the Avatar trying to catch him finally catches him then becomes friends with him and then he can't firebend anymore because he doesn't have that anger that drive anymore mm-hmm. so he he and Aang have to find the first source of firebending they go to this tribe that's hidden and then find the original firebenders which was this, these two dragons and then they were they, they were able to learn the um the original way of firebending with that, all that. Mm. So I believe I might even be a better fighter for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the gamble. So. That's, the, that's the gamble. Yeah. But I'm like, <laughs> what if I'm not? But what if it's not even the anger that's driving you though? Exactly. That's yeah. a, what if I'm not? What if I, I I get that done and it just lifts the weights off me and I'm just like, I'm even more sure of myself, lighter. more more lighter. You know what I mean? More dangerous. That's the word I would use for you yeah. though. When I see you in the ring, it's lighter. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't even know if anger is, I mean, you know better than me because you're the one yeah. in there, but I don't know if anger is what fuels you when you're in the rain. Nah, yeah, you don't seem angry. Like it. Nah, I'm no. not angry. The last fight I had just on the weekend, I wasn't angry. Um, and we talked about this as well. Oh, my guy, Jeff, he's, uh, he, 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 he kind of brought it to my attention that whenever I have static with someone or beef with someone, I really take them out. I really go at them in a <clears> different way. And this guy fought, um, this is a rematch. First time I fought him, he just reminded me again of just these fucking cunts I used to deal with back in the day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like I said, at the press conference before the fight, we were in Melbourne in his country and the whole crowd was on his side and he would say something and everyone would just be like, ah, like, you know, they ham it up. And I'm like, you guys are just fucking, you know, it just felt like he was a jock and he had this cool kids around him and just talking shit. Mm-hmm. And I was like, fucking watch this. Like, I was just like, I'm going to show you guys like he's, he's mm-hmm. full of shit. Mm-hmm. And I humbled him. I, I let him know he was full of shit. So this time he came at me correct. At the press conference, he was somber, 
quiet. He said he said I had oh, bragging man. rights. So I, I beat him up. I dropped him in the first round, but you know, Jeff made a note that, you know, maybe I didn't have that same sting I do like with Acosta with a Brunson. Well, goddamn, Jeff, what do you want him to do? He wants prison <laughs> rules, that's why. <laughs> but did you lose that too? Like as you You've changed, I'll, I'll be honest. Not just your skin tone, by the way, but you've changed. <laughs> <laughs> Major Main. No, but like, like when Radio War Charlemagne, mm-hmm. yeah. like that, when you were engaged with the beef, the battle, do you think that you still have that, that switch that you could turn? Or do you think that you've come to a place where you're like, I don't even need to turn it? I think it's different. Mm. And the only reason I think it's different is because I think that... um. Like, I think when, when you talk about somebody like Izzy, I don't think he does what he does out of anger because you have to be strategic in that ring. You go in there angry, you probably get knocked the fuck yeah. out. Yeah. There's ways, though, you can use your anger to your benefit. There's, there's, you can raise your, your, your level of anger for your benefit. And example, Brunson, when I fought him at MSG, right? In the fight, the first time he grabs my shorts. And I'm just like, I know you grab my shorts. Then the second time he does it blatantly. And I'm like, that's twice now. That's twice. You're for that dick. Like, yeah. <laughs> my man trying to say, dick talk. <laughs> no, but um, yeah. And then like I, I flipped him off and then I raised my level of anger consciously. I'm not attached to this guy. He's not my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's not like Jeff. Um, Like he's, if, if me and Jeff had beef, I'll be clouded with emotion. Anger from emotion clouds your judgment. Uh, yes. 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 Anger from emotion yes. clouds. But anger, when it's just, from someone you don't really give a fuck about, you can raise your level of anger to be assertive, to be dominant. And yeah. it can, it, it, it's like fire. You can use it to like fuel you or you can use it, it can burn your house down. Yeah. So there's ways to use anger and there's a time and place to use anger, but a lot of people have misplaced and misused anger, man. That right there, what he said is true because it's like back in the day, if I'm talking about a person, mm. that was my mindset. I don't know this motherfucker. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't give a that fuck what he... That person can make you angry. That, yeah. But no, no. I don't give a fuck what that person feels. Or thinks about it. Yeah, because you're, you know not, I mean? you're not engaging with them at all. At all. Yeah. But then as you, you get older and you, know, you start doing more work on yourself, you, and also you start hearing things about yourself, yeah. Yeah. you like, I don't want to <laughs> make nobody feel like that. You yeah. know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Just yeah. because. like, if I, So now if I do approach... <laughs> like if I have some conversation with somebody, which I do, it's it's, it's critique. It's actual. It's actually yeah. coming from a good place, not a yeah. fuck you. I'm just trying to entertain. You I'm know what to I mean? You. Yeah, trying, to trying to put, to get, I, yeah. even though I may mean what I'm saying, yeah. but I'm understanding the performance behind it. Now it's just like, no, that you really need to hear this. For also, your own like benefit as you get more successful. Mm-hmm you're going to interact with these people that you make fun of. Mm-hmm. And you realize they're really human. And they're human yeah. beings, yeah. They're bro. They're not just the person on the screen. That's just right. The name on the thing. They That's actually right. see them. That's they put right. a face to the name. Bro, right. the other day we're on flagrant them. teasing Kid Cudi. I don't even listen to Kid Cudi. Yeah. I'm literally doing it as a joke. <laughs> I, I can name one Kid Cudi song. I, I'm sure the guy's a nice guy, whatever. But we just going in. I he's doubt nice this guy. had anything to do with it. But later in the day, he's like posting something on his Instagram like... Pray for me as nah, I go through these. He, he deals with yeah. really severe mental health. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Come on, yeah. buddy. Yeah. How nah, am I supposed not, to know not, about these things? Yeah, he deals with really bad so depression and anxiety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it was real. <laughs> Yo, that guy. Nobody says it now. Come Yo, on, bro. That, yeah, this that guy, guy made everyone depressed. No, he was. The, 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 Cuddy was way on that. He, he saved lives, bro. He saved yeah. Pete life. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people. Damn, he took yeah, Kanye's wife's right. son. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, that's why Kanye <laughs> angry, son. Kanye saved him. That's why Kanye angry, son. Well, he saved him so Kanye can beat his ass, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay, man. so boy, Kanye gets a revenge. No, that's yeah. seriously what happened. You know what's crazy? Like, what's crazy? Like, times that I, I be happy is when somebody want to fight me. Mm. I only get angry when I can't fuck you up. Why I mean, is that? Why angry. is that your comfortable place? This though? guy, because he's got anger issues. No, no, no. I, you I went to anger management back energy. in the day. I had to go. <laughs> you think I, I put myself <laughs> yeah, in there? Yeah. Oh, I see. You had I to never, go. I never put. I don't see wax self reflecting. The funniest shit in the world. They had him in the Beyond Scare Scrape program. Oh no way! Yeah, yeah. All that dumbass yeah. shit, man. Well, well, when you were young, his role. No, I was in college. He was the scare. The inmates were supposed to scare him. He's begging to get in. Let me in there. Let me in there. Let me in there. Dudes over there acting all crass. I beat the fucking shit out of you, boy. You over here eating fucking peanut butter and jelly and fucking tuna fish. I know the fuck. With syrup. Imagine. Yeah, the inmates you know, the inmates yeah. like, where the little boy? <laughs> Why are you bringing these big motherfuckers? Garn ass motherfuckers. The OGs was like, nah, man, we, we get it, man. We ain't fucking with you. Let them, I'm like, y'all know why I'm in here. Yeah. No, but Cuddy really did save people's life. He, Pete said that. He said that on Breakfast Club before. How? He was like, his music. Mm. Sometimes, man, just hearing people 
share their story and talk about what they're going through, expressing. being vulnerable, yeah. it gives people strength. Yeah, Kevin, somebody said that about Kevin Gates not too long ago. Somebody said, yeah. yeah. Yep. He we, seemed like he's changed as well. He's leveling up. But aren't you supposed to? You got to go 100%. through something. Though. Like, you have to. I feel like keep the same energy, but you, you need to evolve as a person, mature as a person. Yeah. 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 It'll be easier for you, though, because it's like, eventually you're going to have to retire from fighting. 100%. I like, this, I can't do this forever. And I, I know I'm, like, if I was going to retire, man, I would have done this like three fights ago if, mm. if it was just about money. Yeah. And I'll make my money and bounce. But I am, I'm learning and I'm enjoying what I'm doing right now. I'm in the stride of my prime. Right. So I'm really enjoying, even just this camp, you know, we had to get locked down for three months in August. This, we're kind of behind with this whole COVID shit in New Zealand. It's, it's bullshit. I don't want to get too much into it. But we locked out from the gym, but we still found ways. We still found ways to train, allegedly. Uh, we still you know, did our thing. And they, they, they didn't slow down our learning. They didn't stop our learning, but they slowed it down. And now I'm just like, I'm really enjoying being back in the gym and soaking things up. I feel like the young Izzy again, the kid that would like learn this today and use it on you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's yeah. How, but yeah. That's, that, I wonder if that's because of therapy. Because that's how I yeah, feel. Yeah, 100%. I've, all, I've, I've been feeling like a kid the last three years. Like, I don't know nothing. I'm just yeah. learning. I'm I still wonder, how the fuck do I have, who, who let me buy a house? Like, that's yeah. how I feel. Like, I, I really, I'm learning the game, but I'm just, I still feel like sometimes, I range from like age 12 to 45. That's, you know, depending on the day. That's how I feel. Yeah, we don't know how mature you are until you tell us how many women you use. Uh -huh. We got well, a rotation. Well, in that rotation, yeah. uh, how many women? Nah, I'm celibate right now, man. Bullshit. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> Bro, wait, did I party after this fight? Jeff, Jane Goodall, come on. Allegedly. That's wild no, to say I'm celibate and point to I've Jeff and say, did I call you? What? You ain't getting nothing, huh, Jeff? Struggling. <laughs> what you do? <laughs> nah, but for real, like, I, well, everyone's been out and we're in uh, Houston. Everyone's been out, my team. I just went to the Super Bowl party and I fell asleep because we ate too much. I ate too much. But um, yeah, after this fight, I've kind of just been, I uh, find my, my time to myself and just kind of reflect and just be on my own and just be with my thoughts. But I'm on this world tour right now. So, you know, I mean, we're in New York. I know some establishments uh, yeah. that my yeah. friend knows. So I will, I, will, I will visit these establishments and have a good time. But what I'm you mean, like brothels? Uh, what? Brothels? Yeah. <laughs> 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 nah, I meant like, you know. <laughs> that's a, <laughs> that's what we use the word yeah. establishment yeah. for. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no. That's strip I, club no, no. or yeah, brothel. Yeah. Oh. Strip club, maybe you know. Yeah, you can't yeah, smash yeah. in there, so yeah. You can't. No, no, no. We you can't I, smash. I, 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 I ain't either. trying to get no one pregnant. I know the thing. Look, I'm not getting trapped. There's a reason I don't have no kids Good. that I know of. Allegedly, there's a reason Jesus I've been on Christ. TMZ. <laughs> <laughs> you know? uh, I'm smart with the way I move. Yeah. I'm smart with the way I. I've learned from the mistake of others. Yes. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I've made man. my own mistakes. Trust me, I ain't no fucking saint, but you ain't no nun either. Listen, how, how long you stay selling for? Um. At the moment, it's you real a celibate months. or Nick Cannon celibate? No, like I bust, <laughs> I bust nuts. Okay, you know what I mean, but I'm not like I'm just fuck. I got okay, so I got scared straight in a way. Uh, not long ago, maybe like three months ago, I slid in someone's DMs, right? And then I heard about it the next day, and I was like, "How the fuck do you know about that?" And it's like, oh no, nah, she like just you know talked about it in some group chat, and I put a screenshot, wow. and I was like, "Oh yuck!" And what I was like, I didn't even <laughs> open with nothing wild. I never do, but like. I'm like, it kind of made me feel like, man, I can't even just like nah. say what's up yeah, in my yeah, own yeah. city and, you know, just shoot your shot. So I do it the old way now. Either I get rejected in person or mm. I get accepted in person. Yeah, I don't really. Now you got to stay in them DMs, bro. Nah, man, it's I'm dangerous. good. That, it's, it's, DMs, clout. it's all clout. Right? It's all clout, man. It They're after They're the clout, like, man. Yeah, exactly. I, had a, I had a girl post don't a date that we went on years ago. Really? Uh, and post the picture I sent they never of myself do. to her. No, that, bro, there's one thing. You saw it? Oh, no, you sent it to me. I, I, I was like, how the fuck Charlotte got on this? <laughs> that shit was hilarious. What was my line? Look at this line. Yeah, this, is, this is some real player <laughs> shit. You want to know about pushing people? Oh, how old were you at the time? How old were you at the time? Say what? How old were you at the time? Shit, how old was I? This is you. Hey, way before my wife. I, I don't even know what to find. <laughs> receipts, receipts. Way before my wife. No, this shit was funny, man. I can't get it. Charlotte is the man. You know why? Listen, some people are just always funny. That's why Schultz is in the line of work he's in. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw a team was like, show me those teeth. He was like, let me objectify those teeth. <laughs> she have nice teeth? No, but I know if I if I ask for anything else, I'm Art. wild. Yeah. But if I ask for teeth, Genius. she gonna she gonna show me a picture naked smiling. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, and then yes, I didn't yes, ask yes. for it. I'm like, oh, That's why levels. you give me this shit? Yeah, That's because, levels. And can yeah, I be honest teeth with you? Teeth to she's, your trying to, she's trying to say I'm a weirdo for asking to see the teeth. What did she send me? Titties. Them fucking titties. Of course. Teeth, titties, titties, and toes. Goddamn titties, anything, bro. Like, anything you do, like the teeth, titties, and toes, is always like, you say teeth, I mean titties and toes. Too. Yeah. Uh, T-T-T. <laughs> you just have to know <laughs> that when you're texting with people, 
talking to them on the phone. They probably yeah. recording. Yeah. They mm-hmm. definitely screenshot. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, you got to know that in this. Damn world. if you do, damn if you don't. Yeah. So That's what do you why. do? Watch porn. I do it in person. In person. Shoot your shot in person. That person. might be even worse. Nah, yeah, only you're reason a I say that person. you're a creeping person. Because, yeah. but those secondhand stories are worse because all they want is the story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just talked to Izzy somewhere and he said X, Y, and Z. And then Chinese like, whispers as well. Chinese whispers eventually, like if I tell you something and then you tell him and then you tell him and then it goes around. Mm-hmm. And then before you know it, it's a uh, whole different story. You're like, yeah, you offer her a Bentley. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like you. <laughs> it's like that wasn't me. I never did. What in my way? Nah. <laughs> that's not like COVID misinformation. <laughs> 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 it does. It does. Hey, that's not like COVID misinformation. He said, he said, she, he said, said. she said, yeah, pretty much. That's that's the world we're living now, though. It's all clout. That's the new art. Yo, it is clout, man. That's, that's, that's the, the currency, new currency, bro. In that. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah. And it is also sad, like, I think when girls post that kind of shit, it's them realizing this is as far as it's going to go. I, honestly, I feel like if you, if that's like your flex, yeah. Like maybe you, you smashed. Um, I see. I, I sometimes I see clips on Adam 22's thing where some chick would be like, "I did this with Drake." I'm like, "Is that like your?" That's their peak. That's their peak. That's, that's, their, peak. that's their peak. They don't see. They don't see anything past Damn. that. That's it's I, these man. It's sad. What's it's that? these? You get in yeah. front of these. You feel like you have to say something. Everybody got a voice. You know what I yeah. mean? You feel like you have to have some type of content. You want to say something that's going to create a buzz or I'm something. Like, right. Tell your grandkids. <laughs> Yo, but you know what it is it's like it's like some it, it only happens when sh- at least for me like some shit goes viral yeah when like, you're popping when i'm popping yep. like like you got a fight coming up and all of a sudden all these girls looking Boom. through their dms like oh didn't that guy dm me let me yeah. share the picture it's, 2014 they just want to yeah. get on board man of course they yeah, see wow. the energy they're like i want a little piece of that i want to feel i want to ride that wave yeah. i want to ride that wave yeah, yeah. And, and i don't think there's any i don't think there's too many things that's naturally viral i mean naturally organically viral anymore because mm. like sometimes right I think I spoke about that here before. You'll see clips of shows that'll go viral about us talking about certain people. Sure. And it might be like a week late or a month late or whatever. You're like, why is this coming out now? I really be thinking of the person we talking about putting it out just to keep, yeah. keep, keep it going. Yeah, I see yeah. it. I, see I really believe media. that. I see it. I, see I really it. believe that. I, seen, I, see, I did see Sinbad this week for no reason. Sinbad? Yeah, I talked about Sinbad last show and just for some reason I seen a Sinbad. We had like a checkered, a white and blue checkered um, Fila, I think. What are you talking about? Wax, I don't know what's going on. Sinbad. Like the, the, I talked about Sinbad last show, and then he just happened to be in my algorithm. Um, this they're Sinbad. listening. That's why they're listening. When last time you seen Sinbad? I see Sinbad all the time. When last time you seen Sinbad, man? He's going to say. I think he's been a little under the weather, but that's Sinbad. He's been yeah. under the weather? He's been under the weather. What is, that's not the term? No, that means sick. Sick. Yeah. yeah. Wait, I, he's been he sick? Cancer or something. Right? No, no, no. I don't yeah. think it's nothing like that. I don't, Sinbad I mean, still alive? Oh yeah, my he's God, alive. man. <laughs> Sinbad has been on Breakfast Club so many times. Fuck <laughs> Sinbad. You're in that old. <laughs> I love Sinbad. Yeah, I, see, I feel like I see him all the time. I feel like Legend. I feel like comedians talk about Sinbad all the time. Legend. I like Sinbad. Like, you got to be the most popping person in New Zealand. Uh, yeah, are you number one most famous person in your country? Google. It's hard to say. You <laughs> are the prime minister lady, right? Let's see. Mm, nah, she's all right. She's not bad. But she's pretty <laughs> famous. She's all right, but she's not. Who's pretty famous? Who, who, who? Singer. Lord. Oh, Not even shit. close. Lord no. from New Zealand? Yeah, she's from New Zealand. I yeah, thought she yeah. was from oh, Australia. <laughs> I didn't know she was from New Zealand. <laughs> no, I went to New a Lord Zealand. concert once. Nah, yeah. Lloyd's, Z- Lloyd, uh, Lloyd's yeah, slapping, bro. Yeah. She's so slapping. She got an I Instagram page Adams full of biscuits. Well, pretty up there. Steven Adams is an athlete. He's uh, he's pretty... Nah, you're more famous than Steven. Steven's the man, but you're more famous than Steven. Where does yeah. Oh, shit. Come? Russell Crowe from New Zealand? Yeah, that's OG. I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, Russell Crowe's pretty goddamn famous. Yeah. Um, that guy's famous. Peter Jackson? If we want to talk like current, like current right now, right now. I'm, I'm, I'm doing well. I, I, I make, this is why I like some, some of the things I say sometimes get taken out of context on purpose so they can sell, you know, what they want to sell on their website. Yeah. yeah like yeah. what? Your clicks. I mean, uh, did you get a lot of yeah. flack for, uh, sticking up for Rogan? Nah, not that. No. Okay. I mean, who's going to tell me shit? I'm like, oh, come at me. But, um, something happened early in the, I don't want to get too, how do I get into it a little bit? So remember when I told, um, what did I say? I think one of the fighters said one time to some doggy guys, like, you know, I got dildos in the car. I, I can fuck them boys. And he was talking shit to me at the time. And I was wow. like, bro. And I said to him in a in clip that I, that I, yeah, this is like, this what? is Kevin Holland. Kevin Holland said that. Shit, bro. He said, I've got yeah. dildos in the car. I can fuck them boys. And then he was talking shit to me at the time as well. So then I responded with the clip that I said to Derek Bronson, like, and I said, bitch, I will fucking, you know, this is this fucking cancel call. They're going to, the thing is, they're going to take this out of context. So I said, bitch, I'll fucking I said that to him face to face at the weigh-ins. 
And then I posted that. <laughs> what dropped? That's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was rushing yeah. to find the edit. Yeah, no, 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 no. Find that. No, that's um, that's, that's nothing <laughs> dropped. Put and then out. they took that. They took that. Just and, bleep it. Uh, yeah, yeah, they yeah. bleep it. So they, they took that and then ran with it as like, this is not like you taking out of context. On purpose. Yeah. yeah. You know what's like, so crazy? Think about how much Mike Tyson used to say stuff. Bro, like that, oh, I'll fuck you till you love me, maggot. You know yeah, all that shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, and, he, and he actually yeah, yeah. said what you said. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, the real world. And I'm yeah. like, I'll eat your kids. Yeah, yeah. come on, man. That's, that's like crazy. Crazy. Some of those light eat your kids, yeah. bro. That was the 90s, bro. The 90s was yeah. different. 90s, wow, early fine. 2000s was different. And we, one day, we're going to have to have those conversations, bro. Oh, yeah. What conversations? Just those conversations about how culture changed. Mm. Like, Stop what? punishing people for the nah, fucking... Nah, we, let, let it go before you dig up some shit. Make sure they did. You only talk about it if they did. Yeah. That's true. I was talk, I was, yeah. uh, I was was talking to somebody. I'm not going to say who, but they were saying how like you can't even get people to have that conversation. Mm. Nobody even wants to have it. They don't like, touch it. They don't, don't even want to touch it. They don't yeah. even want to go near it because they're like, I'm not fucking risking... They put up old tweets yeah. or old yeah. whatever. They was like, fuck it, let it go. Yep. That yeah. shit is crazy. Young Bailey. Back again. Yo, Taylor. <laughs> hey. I can't believe you said that. I, I, I was Taylor, like, why are you too busy shit. for us? Oh, what shit. What I got to do with this? You said Chloe Bailey? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You said she looked like Chloe Bailey? No, no, no. no. Why? Why? Oh. You act like you, you've heard that before? Yo, 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 this guy's a hater, bro. I like it. It's like stirring the pot, stirring the pot, stirring the pot. Charlamagne calls himself Morris Chestnut every single day. She can't be Chloe Bailey for an afternoon roll. She can't have three hours at Chloe Bailey. Wax told me that she had the fucking windowsill shit and it turned into Chloe. Oh, the thing. I see, I see. The TikTok thing. Can you see that? I heard you do it yourself. I heard you like, you put the picture up yourself. No. Oh, really? Why didn't you make me one yet? Morris Chestnut. <laughs> yeah. You already know. <laughs> Who do they say? Who do they say you look like? Uh, Morris. But why are you hey, come you on, one? bro. I thought that was a filth. That's not a feature. That's not nah, a app. You can put the app. Nah, you can put dude. the picture up yourself. Yo, Damn. Is, Man, I wonder why that shit was checkered when I did it. Yeah. I was so like, you, what you, mean? you upload it yourself. What do you mean? You have to like upload nobody. it for yourself. It's just like a black and white screen when I did it. Oh shit! That's the that's the game's way of saying. I only found this out like a week ago. I thought I thought it was real the whole time. Me too. Hey. Listen, but I, w what do y'all think about um everything that's been going on this week? <laughs> <laughs> no matter well, what, good. good transition, Charlotte. Good transition. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm about to ask Is that a segment? What? <laughs> what? I'm really about to ask a question. <laughs> I was like, everything. That is the best worst transition I've ever heard in my uh, entire my, my, fucking my, life. Don't Yo, you do radio, what, son. What do y'all yeah. think? What do y'all think about everything? Everything that's been going on this week. Now what? It's been real cold lately, isn't it? Yo, well, the whole because week. in my, because in my Taylor, mind, sit I saw down. we got the wide shot. You have to sit. In my mind, say, yeah. I saw a bunch of shit, but it was really that whole, the, everything around the or Kanye. shit we don't care about this week or shit we care about? Yeah. That too, yes. The Kanye Pete Kim thing. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do y'all think? From the perspective of <laughs> Fill me in, fill me in, because I've, I've been focused on other things. Um, but I see like little things on Instagram and I might slide like twice or swipe twice and I'm just like, oh, fuck is calling, Is calling the man that's currently dating your ex-wife, is calling him skeet an insult? What's well, skeet? Like jizz? I, yeah. I don't know. It's he's he's calling him skeet. Could you argue on... that it's accurate? Talk to me. He's skeeting huh. on your ex-wife. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you are being more descriptive than insulting. <sighs> True indeed. So I don't know if it's that bad. I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't In think it's the context that he uses the term that's skeet. I, Instead of saying I mean. Pete, he calls, her, he calls him skeet. So skeet. Skeet Davidson. Oh, I see. I see. Is yeah, he so saying I he guess... looked like skeet? That's funny. Who's if skeet? He, if he looked like cum. He's trying to He's trying to. I don't think he looks like cum. Yeah, he's trying to call Pete that. Uh, I don't. What I, thought. I think that's a horrible name to call somebody who's currently with your ex-wife, bro. Why? Yeah, fair yeah. Skeet. 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 Why come. is that even in your mind? Come. Why are you putting that in other people's? That's mind? the only thing about? we're all thinking, thinking about. about. <laughs> we're not what thinking about, about what movie they watch. <laughs> you think you think they're holding hands? Yeah. yeah. No, you think about them fucking? Yeah. Clapping cheeks. That's it. Exactly. Yeah. So you could you would call your new your, your ex-wife's new guy on the relationship I have with them but you know, I don't feel like she'd be invested that much in you know someone else's uh, relationship even if you were involved with them I feel like Skeet it's, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't like it but still it's like context, yeah, context. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, worse yeah. things you could be called yeah yeah. yeah. You know I mean? yeah, you could be called a dick 
Yeah, like you if you know I'm smashing your tripod. wife, you are going skeet. Like your name's already Peter. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, right, like, yeah. There's nothing you can call him that's not gonna remind you of it. Yeah, Peter. You can say Skeet. You can say Peter. Peter. Yeah. You know what I mean? It yeah. all comes back to the or or the man who's having sex with his ex-wife. Oh, oh my yikes. god, man. Yeah. I mean, listen. I, I, that's a better word. <laughs> It's just sad. It's kind of, it's kind of just, it's kind of just sad to watch, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, what I mean? feel like why, all that kind why? of stuff. Like, it's just, why is it out there? Why, why are we getting involved? Yes, because everybody a, a, benefits. You know, the yeah. thing I hate the most now. I hate when people say they'll release a statement, but then say, "Hey, I want to keep this private, though. <sighs> I want it to be a private matter between me and my family." It's like it, some, you just made it public. Fucking Kanye is acting like, well, what's that guy's name? Hoodville, right now. Who's, Who's that? It's like an Instagram account. Toxic niggas, man. It's just yeah. It's like memes and stuff. But yeah, yeah he's just his content. Uh, just like, you know, he just posts all these like weird toxic memes. So I feel like Kanye West is like going full Hood Hoodville right now. Yeah. Yeah. But you can't imagine that. Imagine somebody smashing the, somebody you love. It happens. It's life. It. I mean, were they even living together? Wasn't he living in Montana? Like Wyoming. It's like, Wyoming. it's cap. Yeah. I don't know. I just think that Kanye is in album mode. When he's in album mode, he just taps into whatever. He's Maybe he's doing the Jordan. Maybe he's doing the Jordan. Like, you know, I took that personally. Yeah. Draw drawing from the negative. Yeah for that fuel. Maybe. And I think that he needs fuel oh, and his fuel is just attention and it's like, okay, he dates a, he dates a couple girls before Julia Fox. They, they don't really up, get that much attention. Up, right? They did, yeah. okay. but but here's the thing. Once he started dating the Julia Fox girl, that exploded. So he's like, oh, okay, so this is my girl now. Stay here for two weeks. Yeah, I'm going to be here for a little bit because this yeah. is attention. Mm. Oh, now I make fun of Pete and everybody goes crazy? That's the new thing for attention. So I mm. think what he really cares about is attention mm. and he doesn't care who he hurts or destroys along the way. You should watch the first part of his documentary. The first part of his documentary well, it's is... out already. Yeah, the first sure. part, Genius, is, is, is very interesting because it really does show how everybody fronted on Kanye. And yeah. this is Kanye oh, This is huh. Kanye after producing for Blueprint, for Jay. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, this is... He's almost on his way to being super producer of Kanye, but he wants yeah. to rap. He knows that he has something to say, and he's walking... It's this one scene in particular where he's walking around the Rockefeller offices, and he's getting people to listen to All Falls Down. Oh. Mm. This is All Falls Down. Yeah. Like, this is... It is this the record we all grew to love, right? Yeah. But nobody's paying him no attention. Mm. Like everybody's just like igging him. And you can see where, oh, that's what drives him. Mm. You know what I mean? So are you saying that when you are a super producer and the people around you don't want to give you a microphone, that you should keep pushing for it? Mm. If you're good, if you're great. No, if, if you're great, yeah, but don't be like no Yoko Ono. Shall, shall, or shall, shall, are you saying? Are you saying that if you are oh, an absolute wow. leave her, genius no. producer, leave Taylor alone, and, 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 and are, are everybody's you laughing at you and taking away your your opportunities and take away your microphones, you should keep on pushing because you Taylor, might be a genius. You know what's so funny about stories like that? In 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 theory, right? Yeah, you should keep going. Yes. But the reality is everybody's not Kanye. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah. of y'all need to quit. I say, if you need to be great, if you're great, yeah. fuck yeah. But you don't, no. how, how do you know when you're great, though? You got to believe yourself. You got to yeah, 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 keep yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, Michael yeah, Jordan yeah. got cut in um, middle high school. school. He yeah. got cut in fucking high school, but yeah. then he goes and play, becomes the best player oh, but all of the all time. Chips in the dip, man. Chips in the dip. 100%. You can't believe in yourself 180. You got to believe in yourself full circle. That's a good point. No, no. <laughs> Another <laughs> transition. I'm about to say, what we made You gotta believe in yourself full circle, yo. No, that's a good point. 100% Taylor yes. Dance. If you don't, if, if you stupid. give up on your dream, yeah. I don't believe it was destined for you. Yeah. I believe that right. dream, that thing that Is drives you, nobody can make you believe you can't yeah. get it. Yep. That's 100% true. Because it's driven by God. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. God won't allow All you to power. give up. Yeah. Forget what everybody else is saying. What you're telling yourself. Facts. That's what matters. If yeah, it's for yeah. you, it'll be it'll come to you. Yes, Period. in the work. Yeah, yeah. What's for you will not go by you is a is a Scottish saying. Okay. My mom would always say. But that is, is that, that Fubu for you. Yeah, that's why you? Fubu. Yeah. Mm. For, yeah. Was that FUB? No, for us by what's, us. Yeah, for us by us. F yeah. for, I can't. No, forget. what's for you will not go by you. But uh, but yeah, hundred percent. But also, it requires it requires the work. Definitely, it requires the work. And like an almost, we were talking about this earlier, but the. Uh, like the manifestation thing is kind of interesting because you manifest something and then it happens. But part of manifestation is believing that like it's your destiny. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And 
a lot of people talk about destiny and then you go, oh, those people are crazy. Yeah. Well, you truly have to believe. Gotta have yeah. Like, you got to go, day. I'm going to be the oh, yeah. biggest fighter yes. in the UFC. Mm. You felt that way? Yeah, 100%. Like, before so, he was in the UFC. So this is how I'm crazy hearing stories. It is. This is how crazy. Like, there's, there's times when, <laughs> um, like, I had this beat up Honda back in the day, my boy's car. When Diamond moved to China, I was driving it because I didn't have a car. And it was a manual, right? Stick shift. So whenever I would change gears, sometimes, like, this is how weird my manifestation goes. I would, I would change the gears and I'll do this. And I'll change the gear. I'll do this. <laughs> and that was me, like, practicing having a sports car. Now I go to a 720S McLaren. I call Kurama, yep. the nine-tailed demon fox from Naruto. And that was me practicing. And there will be times I'll do it for, like, a week straight. And then there's times, you know, I'll just kind of fall by. And then when I need to manifest that again and just yeah. get that going, I'll just be back. And it just became a habit. It just became a habit driving like that. And there's levels to it, man. You And someone would look at me doing that and be like, that's fucking nuts. Like, what the hell? Why would you be? No, but it creates the, the destination. It's the address for the GPS. Like, yeah. I always tell motherfuckers, like, if you want some, if you don't even believe you deserve something, why should anybody give you the like, opportunity yeah, for it? Like, right. you got to believe not only do you deserve it, like, the world would have to stop spinning for you to not get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Facts. That's right. why when people would be like, well, what was your plan B coming up? I'm like, yeah, I what's plan B? There was never one. There was never one. This is what I love doing. I love doing radio. What is plan B is like having a bunch of fat women having sex with them and making money. What oh. is good? That's plan B. <laughs> You need used plan to buy, you used to buy those yeah. <laughs> You're nasty ass That's going different. raw. <laughs> Fucking wrap that but shit. But isn't it funny, like, your delusion, like, that's the other thing that I also notice is, like, the things that you say that are delusional and mm. people react to, to it as if it's delusional, mm. like, their belief in you exponentially increases once those things become true. Mm. So when you say your dream to somebody in the beginning, they're like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? But once you start checking off those boxes, mm -hmm. have you have you noticed? Yeah, like, but the I, I don't respect people yeah, like that. My life. Yeah, but sometimes it's family, bro. Like sometimes they, they don't. Always, you know yeah. what I mean? Like family can dick ride yeah. you. Hundred <laughs> percent. It's the truth. Yeah. You are family. from South Carolina. It's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the South. Family can get this dick too. <laughs> don't no no. Right. I they chop that up and take it. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's, but it's the truth though. It's like I. It's hard to respect people like that. It's like, yeah, it's easy to, you know, act like you believed once it's there. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? See it. Once they can see that. it. You could have been helping the, me from the ground up. So I'm to believe in your vision. One thing, okay, so my parents did not want me. Nigerian parents, why do you want to be a fighter for? Yeah. yeah? Why want you, want you to be a doctor? Yeah, doctor, doctor accountant. Yeah. If you're not a doctor, accountant, um, lawyer, you're a failure. That's it. You know? mm. But then I'm one of the first or the the first in, from my country, from my family to be able to be like, I want to be a fighter. Right. My, fa my, my, my parents were like, fuck no. But then they still supported me. Mm -hmm. When I moved to Auckland, they still supported me um, when I needed it. So some people might not be able to see your vision, but if they love you and they love you truly, they will support you. They'll yeah. support your vision and they'll make sure, even your friends as well, but as those that don't support you, until you start to kind of like make headway. Once my parents started to see them checks come in and they were like, oh, yeah. Yeah. But they supported me regardless. It's, it's funny, man. I had someone tell me once uh, recently that my my family only only respect me or love me for my money. Mm. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, yeah. the, the family? Exactly. Shit. But I'm like, yo, before I was rich, before I was a millionaire, they were there. Even when they didn't believe in my vision, they still supported yeah. me mm -hmm. because they knew this is what this kid wanted to do and I, he wasn't going to take no for an answer. I think a lot of times, like, uh, immigrant parents yep. want their kids to be, you know, doctor, engineer, lawyer, these things, it's, it's, there's a security in it. Mm -hmm. It's like, they go, yo, we risk Safe. everything to come here. Yeah. So you could have opportunity. We just want you to be okay. And, so, and that's also the thing they think of success. They don't know. Exactly. Like, even if you said something about tech, they probably would be like, what, what the, the hell? Is yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's you want to make apps. Yeah. What's yeah. What's yeah. apps? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guess us for what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that, but it's like, they're just trying to be good parents, which is yeah. like providing safety for yeah. their children, yeah. right? They don't understand. And then I think what happens is once they see that you're successful, they're like, well, you've got safe. immigrant parents as well. That's right. My yeah, mom, at least. Mom, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Now, they, they're, they, my mom took a big ass risk. So she was kind of cool with me doing She like mm -hmm. really pushed me. Mm -hmm. But I listened to what Akash, like Akash went through the same thing you went yep. through. But I understand their mentality. It's like you want to look out for your kid. You want your kids to have the best possible opportunity in this new place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they go, for me, I want to be a clown. You know, for you, <laughs> yeah. I want to be a boxer. Like, yeah. what the fuck does that mean? Yeah. Like, I, I love Nigerian. I love Nigerian culture. I've been having some conversations with uh, people from Nigeria and a lot of them say they had to let go of their Ni the, their Nigerian the mentality, mentality yep. Yep. in order to be successful in America. Wait, 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 what do you mean by that? I guess that whole, 
wanting to be a doctor. Oh, or, the, 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 the three or four the idea, jobs. The idea of what they think success is. And this is the thing I yes. say about myself. Like, I feel blessed um, to be able to dream because even the old job I had, that I quit my job September 4th, 2013. Mm. That was the, the last time I worked a regular job and I never looked back. Next day, I was on a plane to China. Um, that job, someone, even from the impoverished places in America, someone from where I'm from that's poor and broke, having a job like that would be a blessing. Mm. Would be a blessing. And they'd be able, I, I, I got this job in, in New Zealand or I got this job in America. I can send money back home, all this kind of stuff. But for me, I'm blessed. And I used to, I used to have a, a little, this is back in the day, years ago, I used to be, feel guilty about it a little bit that I'm blessed to dream that I have bigger yeah. dreams mm -hmm. than these people that I was like, this, this is more, there's more than this for me. Mm. This is more, but for someone else, this is the dream. Mm -hmm. you know, but for me, I was just like, well, I'm blessed enough to have bigger dreams. So I have to actualize them. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That is a huge privilege. Yeah, everything yeah. happened for dreaming. My, yeah. my mom yeah. gave me that shit. That comes from our parents, bro. Yeah. It's like this idea yeah, my mom even my mom said it to me. She's like, if you reach to the stars and you get to the moon, you got to the moon. Think about what that is. Like yeah. that is to me. I remember distinctly her telling me that. What like, else do we have? Kid, so, son, even if you're with everything, you're even if you want poor as hell, what bro, else do you have? Bro, I, I went to an elementary school. My buddy teaches elementary school in Brooklyn. I remember asking these kids, and I, I was just like, uh, I was like, what do you? Or it was middle school. I was like, what do you guys want want to be? Like, what are your dreams? And they were terrified to even say it. The kids wow. and the kid and this girl said like, "Well, I'd love to be a a, a baker." Mm. And some of the kids kind of like laughed or whatever. And I was like, "Don't laugh! Like, should you do that? Do you want to do that?" She's like, "Yeah, but like, how could I do that?" And I, I'd be like, "Does anybody else in this room want to be a baker and own a bakery?" Nobody else raised their hand. And I was like, "If you don't do it, there won't be any more yeah. bakeries. That's right. We need you, we need or nobody gets croissants anymore. You can like, be the next you, little Debbie. You got you are yeah. little Debbie. Real yeah. talk. So it's like, I think these kids." Like we we focus so much on teaching them like you know arithmetic and all this stuff in schools oh, like teach school, these man. little motherfuckers to dream man yeah. and teach them how obtainable those dreams are. What happened to that's us? Big, I don't know how. Son, school. something happened to us when we were younger, bro. Nah, to, that's TV. all we had was dreams back in the day. Mm. This TV. is the thing. Like a lot of people lose that as they get older. Like for me, this is why I say, like I said, the shower is one of the most magical place because you can I my, my imagination runs wild unless you're at Penn State bro, I'm bro. Like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wow that dream turned into a nightmare <laughs> <laughs> I heard that story I heard that story <laughs> whoa yeah whoa. Nah, but like I mean you know some people lose that when they get well, that's why we're in the position we're in because we, we're able to dream yeah, a lot of people lose that. And yeah, you'd be surprised. Yeah. You'd be surprised how some people can't even think past yeah. next week. Next yeah, exactly. Week. Some yeah, people can't. This is like, yeah. not nah, this is right here. I've got the secure job. I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna settle down. Mm. And like, nah, you have to have. I feel for myself. I could not. I couldn't have settled down, man. Like when I was working a summer job where my dad um currently runs as an accountant, it's this tannery factory, and I'd see old men like 65, you know, 48, and they're working there the same job, and then, and they work there maybe like. 20 years just to get one of these like and you at the end mm. you get a gold watch um after i think 16 years and sometimes they'll get close like 15 years and three months and then they'll lay, lay them off oh wow. yeah 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 i'm like nfl, NFL. NFL. <laughs> foul NFL. oh they NFL. do that with the uh, pension right oh, no, or, or your teams. last catch yeah. bonus catch you will get a big payday the next season yeah exactly yeah. and it's like right yes, sounds yeah mm -hmm. so for me i was just like i, I was doing that job as, uh, as a summer job and i remember like this ain't for me the same for me. And then it was, yeah, it was way too much, man. It takes yeah. confidence to dream. And I think that's something that maybe we take for granted. Like, yeah. you know, uh, used to it. Yeah. I, for whatever reason, we have confidence. Like mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. bus sitting down right here, whether it was our parents fucking listening to us or loving us or whether we found it some other. Mine place. is because of Judy Bloom. Judy Bloom maybe gave you confidence. Yeah. She made you great off. Something had to happen. Yeah. 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 When I was young, I was reading a Behind lot. Behind every Judy great Bloom black books. man, there's a strong white woman. <laughs> <laughs> Judy Bloom. Judy yeah. Bloom. Just read All You There, God, It's Me, Margaret. I've read no. this. Mm. She'll turn it into a, it's actually this. a movie that comes out this year, actually. Sure. Well, yeah. I'll watch the movie. But that confidence, I think, is what enables us to start dreaming because I think there's a lot of people who would love to dream, but mm. their their insecurities make those dreams seem ridiculous. And they're like, mm. who the fuck am I to deserve I, this? I think, I think it's our traumas. I think our trauma, especially with, with, me, with me for sure my trauma is what got me to go higher mm. somebody telling me no is what made me go higher all the things that I had uh, you're I love this higher. for you Wax I love this yeah. for you you're speaking like you've, you've really like stepped into yourself 
Yeah. No more. But sometimes you get dirty, yo. Yo. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> 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 no, but for real though, all, all all the bad things that happened to me is what got me here right now. All the time yeah. somebody told me yes, hmm. it's really what fucked me up. I wonder about that you know? though. It's the no, same thing when you talk it. about Izzy yeah. Danger. It's like yeah. I wonder if those things really did propel us. Are are there because there's plenty of people that have come into our lives and told us the right things mm. to do and how to do things. And that has benefited us too. Why do we always give it to our traumas? Yeah, I, Bro, it, I, I, it is I, I a combination. It. It's right. like, it yep. is a combination, but I do think that that plays a role. Like, like shit, the, the other day my mom was shit, face drunk, stressed up, and she was saying some wild shit to me, right? Mm. And I was just, I mean, she, she doesn't care, but like, she doesn't the mean these things, but she's like saying kind of fucked up to people. She's dealing with her stress. Yep. And I'm taking them and I'm listening to this and I'm just like, wow, this is pretty cool that I'm like not that affected by these things. And then I start to go, holy shit, maybe this is why I can deal with like internet scrutiny better than some mm, because fair. I've dealt with. Oh, she was saying wild shit as in like she was. At yeah, you? she was kind of oh, coming really? at me a little bit, but it's yeah. her own personal stuff that she's projecting. And that's what like, your therapist will tell you. Your therapist will be like, that has nothing to do with you. Yes. Nothing. That's her. Yes. Yeah. 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 But like, I think maybe our ability or my ability maybe to to be numb to those certain things. I was like, that's a maybe a trauma that turned out to be an advantage. But even yeah. even sheep, they get hit. To go to the side, they, if they was, if they did, so you pat that sheep. Pat that sheep with you when he did it. Talking to a Scottish man it, about sheep, my friend. <laughs> 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 they, they guide them with the yeah. stick, but if they don't, if they don't get guided, they never get hit. They're mm. still going the wrong direction. That's yeah. true. You know what I'm saying? So thank God for Mr. Walmart for me telling him I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. He talks to me like that again. Mm. I probably <laughs> still be working at Walmart. If mm. Everybody is Mr. Walmart. That was, oh, that's the nickname. No, what's the Walmart? He came, you know, around like holiday time. Mr. Walmart to come check all the stores. And I used to work in the huh? back. And he told me to, they told me to come to the furniture department. I didn't know what the fuck going on. So he's like, hey, sir, what's this? I'm not supposed to tell him. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's like, you're fire, fuck you. So you wanted to beat somebody up because you was they asked you to do your job? It wasn't my job. They just put me there to like fill in for the guy. That means that was your fuck job you. in Listen, that moment. Thank God, Mr. Walmart. I told you I beat the shit out of you. Who is Mr. Walmart? Mr. Walmart, the guy who owned all the Walmarts. Oh, oh, the, the real John Walt? The real, the real oh, motherfucker I came through. I told my I don't believe that. That's my word. I, I told him I beat the shit out of him. I don't him. believe you. <laughs> what the fuck I'm alive <laughs> for? I think he's dead anyway. Hold on. Mr. Walmart came. Sam Walton. I, I worked there last week. What? You know how long ago this shit was? How long ago was this? <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on. The Walton family. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yo, Sam listen. Walton. Died when? 1992. When was I working at Walmart? Whoever he was, that you was You were six Walmart. in 1992. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? No, I promise. It was Mark's Whoever it is, different. Mr. Walmart was the head general guy who used to come to It might have been one the of the Waltons. Their family. Yeah. I don't believe the story. They're not walking the fucking grounds. At no, no. He was. he was going to the, all the stores and he was like, yo, Mr. No. Walmart, everybody was all tightened up that day. Yep. That's no. why I had to get somebody to, no. I had to fill in. No. So who was it? Mr. McDonald. A white person. <laughs> A white guy. There's a white <laughs> Asian. Shit out and you just assumed that they owned all the Walmarts. That's <laughs> racism. The good kind. <laughs> Thank God for him. We brush his teeth that day. He was like, I'm going to fuck with that, that black kid. And he's going to be great one day. Mm -hmm. But that is still confidence. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that is still confidence to right. be able to take. If that's what you want to call it. Yeah. <laughs> let's pay some bills, man. Okay, let's do it. What do we got? Um, Blue Chew. Yeah. Mm. Go ahead, Schultz. Yo, Blue Chew, guys. I mean, listen, same active ingredient that's inside uh, Cialis Viagra, but this is the Chew. This is the one we rock with, okay? Your girl deserves it. Your wife deserves it. Your side chick deserves it, okay? Lay down mm. the pipe. Give her the night of her mm. life, and the way you do that is with the Chew. And right now, you're going to get it for free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. Go to bluechew.com, okay? Make sure you use the promo code IDIOTS. And you're going to get it for free, just $5 shipping. Your girl deserves it. Stop being selfish. Matter of fact, take a picture of yourself in the mirror when you meet in that <laughs> full mass, okay? Let's get back to the show. Or do we Hold have on. another thing? Yeah, we're going to do one more. Uh, Express VPN. Salute to Express VPN. Thank you for sponsoring the Brilliant Idiots. Have you ever stopped to wonder why internet access is so much cheaper these days? Like 30 to 40 bucks a month? It's because internet service providers aren't just making money off subscription fees. They're also making money from spying on your internet activity and selling your history and data to big tech companies. So what's the best way to make sure that 100% of your data is encrypted and that your ISP can't get a hold of it? You guessed it. ExpressVPN, okay? ExpressVPN creates a secure tunnel between all your devices and the internet so that everything you do online is encrypted, okay? It reroutes your connection through a secure server. This blocks your ISP from seeing everything that you do online. All they can see is you're connected to an ExpressVPN server, but nothing beyond that. And it's not just for you. 
Okay, it's for your phone or computer. ExpressVPN works on all your devices. It works on your tablet, smart TVs, even your router, so your entire family can always stay protected, all right? I can't stress enough that ExpressVPN is so simple to use. You just open up the app, tap one button to connect it, and that's it. Your data is your business. Protect it at expressvpn.com slash idiots. Visit expressvpn.com slash idiots to get three extra months of ExpressVPN protection for free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash idiots to learn more. Let's get back to this show. We have church announcements. Yo, uh, the infamous tour. Yes, we got some good news. Canada is uh, cracking open, so them Toronto shows are fucking on. We'll see you, Meridian Hall, three shows. I believe it's March 4th and 5th. Mm. Thank God they opened So what up. was the problem? Like, it was just closed because of COVID? They were closed because of COVID, and they were saying it was going to be closed until March 15th, so the shows were going to get canceled. Now they're saying everything's open back up. People no saying, fuck it, at all. Bro. March 1st. Yo, people it's are done. Fuck it. COVID You're done, bro. It. Coachella, they announced that they Coachella mm, is, is wide open. I saw that. Wide 100%, open. 100%. Man, and today making a new in, variant. And today, in, or yesterday in Cali, mass mandates gone. Mm. Yo, it is weird. Like, it's weird that we can eat at restaurants. God, and, don't get me started. Yeah, but like, this is the crazy shit is like, you can eat, you can sit down and eat at a restaurant and yeah. not wear the mask, but the kids can't sit down at school and just learn without it, a mask. It makes zero sense. You know, what it is, honestly, for me, when I see it, it's just keeping up appearances. Yes. All these yeah. companies want to like just look like because you see even like these videos of politicians before yeah. they go on stage, they just like right, I got they're backstage yep. chopping it up and all that. And then they Super Bowl, the all on. them with their masks off. You yeah. saw that picture. I, it's and it's also weird as well seeing the um contract. I was just in Houston, Texas, right? Barely saw any people wearing masks. Oh yeah. I get here to New York. Oh, yeah, it was here wild out there. Yeah. But then here I come out here and I'm seeing the streets like, man, everyone's wearing masks. And I, I kind of got looked at a little bit. Cause they're still like on the on the door, like you know, please wear a mask or whatever. But for me, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. I'm a bit of a a rebel without a cause, if you will. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sometimes, so I just I don't I don't want to be programmed to just like straight, just obey, obey, yeah. obey. My shit is it just I hate, like you still buy condoms. Uh. <laughs> 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 Fuck all that, bro. Listen. Condoms are for America, yo. Ain't no condoms out there in New no Zealand. Uh, come on, bro. They don't got COVID. They definitely hit. Go. <laughs> Man. Yo, oh, so yeah, if if you know, you know. Condoms, bro. Come on, dog. Damn, yeah. if you know, What's you know. You know. Yeah. What's the point? <laughs> What's the point of condoms, dog? The wear. For what? How long have it been since you wore a condom, dude? I'm married. Yeah, he's married. Exactly. Yeah. Co- years for me. You know what's so funny? I did say that does. <laughs> my girl finds a condom in my house. She thinks someone else moved in. <laughs> she doesn't even work. <laughs> I, told my, you know, I told my wife that the other day we was at a cheerleading competition for my daughter. We was in Atlantic City. I'm like, y'all should go buy some condoms, yo. For what? So we in a hotel room. Mm. Just bring back that just old, old feeling. Memory. I yeah. know. <laughs> He's got to feel it sometimes. Just buy it just for no reason. Bro. I might get caught. But and she wanted me to get a vasectomy anyway. So it's like, you know. You need a vasectomy. You got three kids, four kids now? Four, four, four daughters. Four kids, yeah. four I'm daughters. Getting, I'm getting one. I'm getting a vasectomy. You should yeah. just cut the one that has the girl sperm. I'm turning the cable <laughs> up. <laughs> That's this right. This is going to happen. Oh, you got the curse. leave one of them. That's what they call the player's curse. <laughs> yeah, I used, I saw, I used yeah. to call it the player's curse. Now yeah. I just look at it. That as, shit ain't the player's curse. No, because you know the first. Cut toes out. What? <laughs> you have sex with your toes out, dude. You have sex. I think it's a blessing. Every time I have a new daughter, like my life and my and the first time I ever had a daughter, my, my guy crazy, told me, bro. Why you lie to your friends, bro? Why are you lie to your friends? Why are you lying right here? Why are you lying with us right here, Who? dog? His name Torrey. Torrey. Hassan Torrey. Hassan, uh, what does he play? What does he, what does he do? Oh, no, he's a designer. He is. Designer. But I think he's if from Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, but he Torrey. said you have a daughter. I know Torrey. You know Torrey? Yes. He yeah, said you're going to have he a daughter. And you, yeah. yes. I thought it, Torrey this week. That's crazy. You did? See? You trying to get something made? What are you talking about? Yeah, he's getting about? married, bro. Jack Thriller is making a suit made from That wasn't Jack Thriller. That was 50 Cent. You're not getting a suit made. Jack Thriller about to go on Versus. He did it already. He did it last night. So that's what I saw. Oh. No, he, Torrey made his shit. But Torrey said if, it's a blessing when you have a daughter. Mm. Yes. He was like, watch, your whole life's going to change. Yeah. Everything's going to open up for you. And he he was right. That was, I respect My father before, said I'll never become a man daughter, until I have so. a daughter. After. My life has just gotten better and better and better. Every like girl you're more a man than a man than anybody because my father said you'll never become a man unless you have a daughter. So, oh Lord, have mercy. I ain't no man yet. S- salute to Jack Thriller. <laughs> they got mad at Jack Thriller just because he was making jokes last night at the verses. How you hire a comedian to host verses? And then get mad at his jokes. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> what was the joke? What was the I joke, though? He told Anthony Hamilton, he, uh, he, he said, he said, he said, bring your runaway slave looking ass out here. No, <laughs> man, stop, man. <laughs> yes. And then he said, how many Negro spirituals you going to sing tonight? <laughs> I thought it was funny. It is funny. It I didn't even, funny. And by the way, I didn't even see it. Wait, who's mad at him? 
Yeah, I guess the internet. That's a good. You know what? Uh, that's a great. They, 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 right. they, I say they, that from now on. Just, they, that's right. They, like, who's if, mad if, at if you tell me they and I say who and you say the internet, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. yeah. Yo, we're gonna. I make, don't care no more. We're gonna make they so bad that trans people will stop identifying as that. As they. Yo, I thought it was look, already. We should. We should make a they. Because uh, they. they look. No, like but you know what I'm saying? Like they is the cause of all our problems. Like they are trying to shut yeah. down Rogan. Like they are upset. This way. They. We need to make like a visual of they. Like a Khaled Karen? already told oh, us they was haters. They uh, was haters, bro. What is it going to look? look. Say, yeah, who was it going to look? Say yeah. it. You know what you're thinking. I, I know how you know Karen what you're thinking look. right now. You know what I'm saying? What do they look like, bro? Don't do it. <laughs> what do they look like? Don't do you it. know what they're thinking? Just what do they don't look do like? Don't do it. Just what simply saying, don't do it. There's no reason to do it. I'm trying. I'm trying. Just simply. I'm trying. Just simply. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. There's no need to even do it. All right. Just hit him with the hezzy. Got to get out the way. Well, Ray made James Harden's outfit that he wore in Philly when he was sitting on the bench. He makes other stuff too, bro. He makes some great other stuff. The what? The back skirt. He makes other stuff. It's like a little back skirt, like a skirt in the back. And nah. the he, he, he looked like uh, a M. Cape? Bison. A cape. Oh, like a Batman back skirt. Like M. Bison, bro. <laughs> you don't remember street Back skirt. <laughs> That's a funny name for a cape. <laughs> yo, the next one be good, though, yo. <laughs> yeah. Who, with Ben Simmons? Yes. I'm watching this. I'm going to be there tonight. Seth Curry. Yeah, I'm going to have a look. And Andre Wait, Who are they playing? Who's playing? Tonight? Who's the are Knicks. you going to are you the, going the Nets play. game? Nets yeah. and Knicks play tonight. At Garden or at where the Nets play? Okay, good, I good, good. Next yeah. and Knicks play tonight. Hmm? Yeah. Well, I mean, we just comes out on Thursday, but it's being put on Wednesday. Next and Knicks play tonight. Okay, okay bet. I'll how be many? There. How many uh, of your guys are going? Uh, all of us, but I'll just be on the floor, and then yeah, we'll swap out. He's trying to see, see if you got room for him. Is he? Oh, no, bro, I, I, I have. You know the plug. season tickets oh, yeah, there, and the I was going to yeah. offer tickets to a couple of guys. Oh, for real? Yes, I will take that. Thank you. Oh, brother, you're the man. What's your entourage like? Is it? Let's not go. crazy. We're just talking Let's about go. this. I'm, I'm just with people, the bro. with the with the circle. I'm okay. not. I don't roll crazy. I don't roll too deep. But I bring my people with me. Even flying into um, New York, so I came from Houston to New York, and I thought, you know what? Let's get the PJ on the PJ. Bro. Yeah, just have fun. On the you know, PJ. It, was my, it was my baby sister's birthday, and I wanted to give that exp that experience to them. You know, so I like yeah. to bring my people with me. My my yeah. people who I really who I really fuck with. So yeah, and that shit ain't cheap, bro. Yeah. But, you know, I'm rich now, so it's yeah, different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let him know. Let him, yo, Connor, Connor, Connor talking about them pockets, Yeah. Bro. Oh, no, he's got deep pockets. I no, think he's like, number one, and I'm number two highest paid UFC fighters, I think. But it was your reaction was funny. Which one? You're like, I don't know nothing about that. When Connor, Connor said, Connor basically came out, it was like, congratulations to Izzy, you know, like, and Paradigm Sports. Oh, management. yeah, I want money. And he goes, he goes, yeah, yeah, exactly. And he goes, he goes, you know, that's right. Me and Izzy are the two highest paid athletes uh, yeah. in the UFC. And he's like, I don't know what money you're talking about. Like, don't come asking me for money. <laughs> nah, I, I know what people's is like. I know what it's going to be like when I get back to New Zealand. So I'm just like, man, I want more money. Oh, people nothing. hitting you up like, yo, what's uh, up? Man, I'm surprised, broke, man. Be so, I'm, I stay broke. Stay people, broke, stay woke. Because it's interesting because people yeah. always talk about the UFC fighter pay. Yeah. And then Izzy's just been like, they pay him. Yeah, all right. That's they not saying. paying. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> Jake Paul made it seem like the yeah. UFC fighters wasn't making no money. No, nah, there's, there's levels. There's levels. Yeah. I mean, but I, I even said at the post fight press conference, I'm like, look, he makes some valid points. You know, he makes some really valid points. So I'm like, yeah, the de the debuting fighters, the debutants, they should be able to fight for the UFC, pay their coaches, their managers, and not have a second or third job. Have enough to be able to just have a 12 week training camp without without um getting another job because guess what rising tide lifts all ships yep. if if the, the the quality of fighter pay goes up from those levels yep they're going to be fighting much better for for the fact that they get they just get to train yeah that's all they do better they quality product train. exactly yeah so it's, trust me it's good and i said it's this effect's going to trickle down because francis already started it with his you know disclosing of what's happening with the ufc which was atrocious by the way mm. and i think some egos got involved and it was just a little mm. bit too much but it's going to trickle down now. They're going to have a meeting with them. And I, I, I know they're going to, I hope they come to an agreement because yeah. I feel like, you know what, the, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world should not be fighting for 600K. And he's such a great ambassador. 600K? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. But that, but that's because I feel like they made some mistakes and there was, it's just stuff that I shouldn't be, t he should talk about this because he knows better and it's not my place to speak. But I just feel like mistakes were made on the UFC's part because guess what? Humans, 
there's humans running the UFC. Yeah. And also humans have ego and human error but is a thing. The also, average and, person is watching this and like, 600K, I'll go get my ass kicked for 600K. <laughs> not but, by Francis. Fuck. Trust. Yeah, yeah, that's, you don't but, want that. but also another thing you got to look at is like, I don't know. And maybe I'm different because I've, I look at things as opportunities. And like, I've done so much shit for free mm-hmm. that yeah. I love doing. Now it's yeah. different than getting your fucking ass potentially kicked. Yeah. But <laughs> that, that, that is like the highest stakes of everything. Yeah. But like... I look at UFC and I'm like, yo, you could turn this into bread. Like, you might get low money in your first contract, but if you're a star, Mm -hmm. you get crazy sponsorships, Mm -hmm. you get other opportunities, start your own business, like, flex this opportunity because if you're good in UFC, they're going to put that marketing muscle in that in the other fight sports you don't see. Like, I'm looking at these boxers and I'm like, only... A handful of boxers are making Literally, real money. Like six, seven boxers are making crazy money. Canelo the rest of them make I don't even know if it's six. Is it six? Yeah. Bro, because yeah. there's no promotional outlet for the other boxers. Yeah. If you're not signed to one of these major promotional companies, yeah. even if you are, they still got to sign a deal with another Some place. Of them are making a thousand. Some of them are making Bro, three thousand. I can't think who's all making money. Canelo. Like my first UFC fight, I made six figures. And that was because I also got a bonus as well. But I, I knew my worth going into the UFC. So my first UFC fight, UFC 221 in Perth, I made six figures. Mm. That's because. Before the UFC, I planned all this shit out, man. Yeah. I, I I set myself up to win. Put it that way. Could you ex- could you give somebody else that game plan and they could follow it? Or you I already kinda, have. Like, just watch my, watch just my story. Watch that, watch that's my, the just other watch thing, me. Like, Literally, just watch the way I've, I've done things, the way I handled my social media, um, even what I went to school for, went, went to college for um, media design. All that little stuff helped me farm my Instagram. I've never bought followers. I've never, like, you know, try and boost posts and nothing like that. It's all organic. And that's just because... I knew how social media worked. I knew how the currency of attention worked. And even back in the day in China, there's times I would make a post and I'm like, fuck, if I post this with this caption, I'll look eat us. Oh, fuck. Uh, and I'd struggle with like 20 minutes of posting. And I was like, ah, it's done. And I'll put the phone down. It's done. Mm. And that was me practicing not giving a fuck. Mm. Practicing not caring. Even in China, like little things in China, like being a big black man in the rural parts of China, being stared at. That got me ready for the life I live now when I'm being stared at. Famous. Famous life. Yeah. You know? Like straight yeah. up. Like they I've had the longest reigning staring contest with old Chinese people in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, man. Like, no, like, and, this is like no, and they're not like, they're, it's not in the rule. Like they'll just like look at you like, oh. Cause they're like, marveling at you. Yeah, yeah marveling. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll, back in the day, it used to get to me like, what the fuck are they staring at? And I'll just like, look at them as well. But it was fun for me at some point. But then I realized that sometimes, and sometimes I'll break a smile and then they'll smile back. Mm. But then sometimes it's because they, they just, like you said, marveling at you. Like, That's what it. the fuck is this? Bigfoot mm. just walking around my town for. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. But it all got me ready for this. Even having a car like Kudama, my McLaren, I only drive that car when I'm feeling good. There was one time, ooh, three or four months ago. I thought I was like, it was a sunny day. I was like, you know, I want some dropped up therapy. Jump in it, <laughs> start driving. And then... I just start feeling weird. I only drive that car when I feel good and when I feel like I'm I'm in a good place because then I don't want to be stared at. And then straight away, I just put the roof up and then I just felt weird driving it because at the lights, you know, people looking at me and I just hate that feeling of just yeah. people. And I was getting anxious and I was just like, oh, I want to go home. And I just doubled back and went home. Yeah, you got to be no. feeling yourself yeah. to my, drive my, a car where people are going to be staring the whole time. Yeah. It's all practice. It. It's all reps, man. Never wanted that attention. Me. I don't like the attention yeah. all the time. But there's times when I feel like you got to let a motherfucker know. Hells yes. Not me. Yeah, but you don't yes. know who is who, though. <laughs> I get what you're saying, though. I get why you feel that way, but yeah. eh. In my craft, you have to. Well, that's the thing. It's currency in yours. Yeah, exactly. You no, keep it's it. not breaking a jaw. It's currency. No, it's not. Breaking a jaw. Nah, like little things. This is what I'm talking about. Like people don't understand the level of, yeah. of like the, um how the clout machine works. Mm-hmm. And this is the thing. I've done this so many times that it's just it's almost like reps now i just know what yeah. to do i know how to like you said i like what you said that for was the real, fight week like yeah, yeah. Oh, i'm being serious i just knew how to when it's time when i want to make people notice me i'll make people notice me the guys I like know, kanye and album mode. son yeah. real talk i know it and there's a few do guys that do it though. well yeah you do it well yeah. connor does it well there's a few guys where it's like literally fight week mm. i was waiting for a few and it's like used to start maybe two or three weeks. Mm. Now it's seven days. Now it's give four me days. He gave me nothing to play with. So I was just like, all right, you know, because like I said, I whooped his ass already. So he was yeah. kind of humbled in the fact that he's nothing. He What's he going to say to me? So yeah. There was nothing to work with. A guy like, um, you know, Costa, example. I like he's just going to run his mouth the exactly. whole time. Exactly. So just Victoria, I was like, bet. Mm-hmm. I've got so much to work with. Yeah. yeah. But I like that. I like seeing the fighters go, okay, it's fight week. Because that's what it used to be. Mm. Yes, I remember the fight. Now yes, we sell the fight this time. Like, I like going into a fight almost and going, eh, I don't really care. And then you convince me 48 hours out that I got to spend $75 on a pay-per-view. Yeah. You got me. I'm here. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting. 
It could Make be even like on a fight day. Like sometimes day of. Like weigh-ins. There's certain things you can yeah. do that can just literally move the needle to that. Like boom, from 500,000 pay-per-view buys to a million. That that buys. that right push. Yeah, exactly. It yeah, moves you, that needle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even like I said, the belt thing. Um, I don't know if we're talking about it here. Yeah. With Costa. Yeah. The belt thing. That just trend. That just went. Of course. Went crazy. <laughs> And because of, I think the pose I did at the end as well, yeah. I was just having fun. So I just looked, like I said, that little trolley skinny kid and this big bully getting angry, like, I'm right here. Come, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. Mm-hmm. So that, I think they said it was one of the highest trending videos they've had. And that's free marketing. Wow. Yeah. Think about it. 100% free marketing. But you have to have a willing dance partner who knows how to push and pull. And you can't fake the shit. If you try and fake it, like, it doesn't work. You know, like, I remember when DC and Brock Lesnar. Had it at UFC, fuck, I can't remember. And they went in the cage and they pushed him. I was just like, oh, this is all manufactured. Yeah, you could feel it. I've thought about that. I'm like, are there ever fighters that go, yo, I'm going to push you. When we do the weigh in, I'm going to push you. You push me. Let's almost kind of scrap and then That's people stop. They I've never done it. You could tell when it looks fake, though. Yeah, people yeah. feel it. It's you know disingenuous, you know? It is. Like, even when it's something as simple as Jake Paul snatching off Mayweather's hat. Even yeah. though that was real. Yeah. But look at the commotion it caused. Yeah. yeah. From that simple ass, silly ass act. It wasn't a push. It wasn't a fight. It was just, uh, that's just hat. Yeah. Gotcha. Hat. That alone. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Would you fight Jake Paul? Mm, would I fight Jake Paul? I don't box. I've boxed before, but yeah, I heard Wax was gonna fight him. Yeah, I would love to. Wax scared. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, who do you think wins out of Jake Paul and Wax? Huh? Jake Paul and Wax. I want to see Wax box. I haven't seen him box. He has no boxing skills whatsoever. Uh, Never been in the ring. Jake Paul's no joke, know what, you know man. Jake like, Charlemagne always do all these years. Yeah. He bait the shit out of motherfuckers. I don't know what you're talking yeah. about. He, has, <laughs> he, he don't has, know nothing. He, he don't know nothing. He has Good. no boxing ability whatsoever. Nah, Jake Paul's no joke, man. I like, this is the thing. So when I when he fought um Nate Robinson, I was there. I commentated the fight, right? And uh, I hadn't I ended up at his house later on. And <clears> I didn't realize how big of a fan he was. And for me to, to commentate that far, I had to study what he did from Disney. And that's what kind of made me know, like, okay, this is what this kid's history is. Mm-hmm. But then being at his house, talking to him, we talked for a long time. And then I kind of realized, man, this guy, he's crazy. And guess what? Those are the ones that get it done. Yeah. He was mm-hmm. serious. Yeah. It's after the yeah, night. Have to have a little crazy. All of us got a little crazy. He was serious world. about boxing. Not, yeah. Like, because people just are like, oh, he's just doing this for fun. He's just doing this to try and make money or get you know, clout, whatever. But I was like, no, this guy really, really, yep. and he's got all the funds, all the access to be able to get it done. Yep. Uh-huh. So Full team, of sparring course. partner. So do you ever fight a real boxer if you're Jake Paul? He will, at some point. He, I know he, he will want to test himself. I want that Fury fight. That's the one that's going to really, really Tommy. Start. I don't know. Yeah, Tommy Fury. With Tommy, yeah. I felt like that, that was the one that was going to be like, right, this is going to check where his real level of boxing is Because that's all Tommy knows. Yeah. He just knows boxing distance. He just yeah. knows boxing defense. I think Tommy thing. beats him. Yeah, and I think that's a sellable fight. Very, like, very lucrative fight. They should do that later on. That's why I think he's pushing it back. Yeah. I think Jake's purposely pushing it back to just keep Get sparring, keep the Get work going. Ah. You know what I mean? Uh, Tommy is a, wrong he, he's a real, he comes from a fighting family. Yeah. Why do you think it's difficult for the UFC guys to transition to boxing, even though they're working hands they, all the time? A lot of them, nah, you, you work on so many different things, on grappling, on, you know, kicking and whatnot, but, um, Jake's picked the right fights. He's picked the right fights. Yeah, but not fighting boxers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But like, well, and also the, the level of specialism. It's like saying uh, a UFC guy should go fight, uh, or a MMA guy should go fight um, uh, Andre Gavao or Gordon Ryan, you know, just in right, pure right. jiu-jitsu. In jiu-jitsu. They'll get smoked because yeah. that's all those guys do is straight jiu-jitsu. So same thing. It's um, if all you're doing is boxing, you're going to get really good at that. And like mm-hmm. I said, Jake's got all the access and the time and he's young. He's like 24, 25. Of course he's gonna get better. He's only and I, like I said when I talk to him, I realize he's fucking serious about this. He's mm. no joking, man. Yeah. Why the hell hasn't Logan Paul gotten paid from Floyd Mayweather yet? I don't. That, that was weird to me. Yeah. I wanted to see you know about those pay per view payouts. Yeah. So does it take that long? For- nope. No, no, it don't take that long. So I don't know why. Really? When I heard that, I was like, <laughs> Is he trolling him? Is he trying nah. to? Uh, yeah, he pussy playing I spoke him out. to. I spoke to Logan about it. Yeah. I was like, Man, you're bullshit. But did you hear what Floyd yeah. said? Floyd responded. Oh, no, what did he say? He said that it just takes time. He said these checks don't. You know, come overnight. He was, like, UFC. he was like, I'm still getting royalties from maybe fights take from seven, eight years ago. Really? Nah, That's nah, what he nah. said. Royalties Royalty. are replays. Royals, exactly. Yeah. Over and over. That's what he said. Yeah. That royalties are replays. Now, this is... You know, flat payout, the flat payout. Because, I mean, you fought... That was, like, maybe June. <laughs> you know, yeah. Floyd didn't knock him out. Yeah. That's what it is. I that didn't was. knock you out, and I'm going to son you this way. Oh. Uh, so you think he's just making him wait? Hell yeah. Floyd's got yeah, deep pockets. Mm. But why is that? Why why is the money coming from Floyd though? Don't the money come from Floyd? From the he's the he's the big he's the promoter. Floyd's the promoter. Yeah. That's why. So 
Yeah, I'm yeah. I was surprised at that. I was he like, did something grimy too, apparently. They cut a deal with like I think Qatar and another place to stream the fight over there. True. But didn't tell Logan, Logan about it. And Logan's oh. supposed to get a percentage of the purse Everything, no matter yeah. what they sell. Yeah. Yeah. So I think he was doing some grind. And it's fucked up because it breaks my heart because you know what? Floyd is my GOAT, right? I like, like what you said. I, I think like he's the greatest said. expert at anything. Became what he and, hated. But he became the motherfuckers who were fucking him over. Yeah. Like he had to buy yeah. himself out of that Bob Arum contract. And it's like, don't become these guys. 750000 yeah. Floyd, he, he also pulled the racism card too. Oh, no. Really? He did. Where? He How? told Logan, he said, how long your people been making us wait? No. <laughs> 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 he no. Yes, man. I don't pay attention yeah. to these things. It's just noise, man. He was like, yeah, he was like but I, I, the reason I watched that one in particular, because I really wanted to know why Logan hadn't gotten paid yet. I was like, that is funny. Business? I'm going to pay wild. him in 400 years. <laughs> 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 Same amount of time it took us to get paid. Yo. Still waiting for reparations. Yeah, but say yeah. Logan's reparations. So how long does it usually take? Nah, for me, like example, I just fought in the weekend. It wouldn't take less than it wouldn't take more than two months, a month and a half before I get fully paid. Really? Yeah. Oh, so you you're already also got getting pay per view. Yeah. You're you getting get your disclosed country. People this one thing I always I find funny from from the jump of my UFC fight when people see like, oh, you only got paid this much for that fight. I'm like, that's the disclosed pay. There's the undisclosed pay. Oh, what's that? Ah, you know, a little sum. <laughs> a little sum. But that's the thing. Like, people, even the UFC, they know what I get paid. But no one knows what I'm worth. And I'm so happy I, I have, like, one of the smartest men with money behind me. Like, I've said this already, like, during interviews. I've said, like, you know, um, Khabib's dad was in his corner, you know, teaching him how to fight. Cornering him. Jordan, Stephen Curry, uh, the Ball brothers, you know, their, their dad's in the corner. I've got my pops behind the scenes. Showing me how this whole thing works, Ooh. like money wise. Not, well, in the, not on the he's front like, line. He's a CPA. Yeah, he's an he's, he's an accountant. Yeah, so yeah, he yeah. knows how Holy money works. Holy shit, so, Chico. Yeah, yeah, so he helped me, like he told me in Christmas how much I'm worth now. And I was just like, what? He was like, yeah. I was like, oh shit. So that's when I was like, fuck, I could have retired this many fights ago if this was just about money. Mm. But nah, like I said, I'm really enjoying being in the stride of my prime right now, and I'm enjoying what I do. I just signed this new crazy deal. It hasn't even hit me yet how because. For have, UFC? Yeah, for the UFC. I, 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 it hasn't hit me yet how monumental it is. Like I said, I'm now the second highest paid athlete in the UFC. And Who's first? Me, Connor still? Connor still first, yeah, of course. Like, my man's... Yeah, he don't win, though. He ain't won in a minute. Yeah, but he's he's changed the game, and he's got his... Cashes his, checks, though. Yeah, he cashes yeah. checks, puts asses in seats. That's it. You know? And we're from the same um, oh, management team, Paradigm. Uh, so they know what's being left on the table mm -hmm. when it comes to these deals. They know what's being left on the table, so they... I'm glad now, at the moment, I'm getting a nice slice of the pie. Was Conor the guy before the f Mayweather fight? What do you mean? Like, he, oh yeah, yeah, he was ready. He was, okay. he was popping. He was up. Okay. He was up. Yeah. Okay. From the jump, you just knew straight away this guy. Like his second UFC fight was against Max Holloway in Boston, I, re I recall, and he his fight felt like the main event. So he's always been up. Yeah, he's just yeah. he's he's another guy who's just amazing. He knows how to entertain. When you know, you know. But he don't yeah. win though. Yeah, he See, did though, and he did he did in like exciting fashion earlier in his career, mm. and um, yeah, now he's not. But we give out we give we give out a lot of participation though. trophies nowadays. Uh, yeah, participation. That's why that's, I like people that that's still want to win. Like, you trophy. still want to win. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I, I do this. Fuck money. I love money. Don't get me wrong. I do this for the money, but for me, it's about winning and just taking. All right, by the time I'm I'm, all, I'm I'm done with this game, I want to be able to sit by my fireplace and just look around and see all the heads on the mantelpieces, like. I took that guy out. I took him out twice. I really fucked that guy up. Damn. Damn. Who do you want now? Me. I've got Jack. Who's head do you want? Cannonier. Yeah. Cannonier. He Cannonier. fought. Who yeah, else? He fought. Uh, uh, Strickland. I like the fact that he talks a lot. I yeah. Feel like there's that. a guy who can build up the fight. Exactly. He might need another fight or two. What I do you think? One fight. One, one fight. more. We've got an idea for what we want to do with him. But um, yeah, I, I hope he does well. That's crazy. Yeah, you just just you just it, yeah. premeditate how you're gonna beat somebody. Yeah, like, not, I'm gonna fight this fight, and then, yeah. I'm, then yeah. I'm gonna beat him. I up try to set them up as well. I've tried to set Jared up in the past, but then he lost the fight. I've tried to set Darren Till up so many times. And yeah, he just, Darren keeps fumbling a bag. Fumbling, exactly, and that'd be a fun one. We always talk about that, like on social media, you exactly. guys building that fight, but you gotta win at the end of the day. Exactly. If you don't, if you're not winning, you're not. Unless you get to that, like you said, that Connor stratosphere where you you've built such a big following, such a big stock of yourself that even if you don't win, you're still up. You what know? do you what do you think about the guy that everybody he keeps saying I'm gonna smash everybody? Oh, saying, come come quiet. Yeah, come quiet. Yeah. What do you think about come quiet? Uh, come come quiet. Comes out to name. Yeah. Hamzat Chamaya. Even um, at the guy. post fight press conference, they were like, oh, another fighter who's not in your weight class tweeted at you. And I was just like What does he fight at? 170? 170. So he he does fight at 185 as well. But I'm like, who's he fought at 185? I don't know who he's fought at all. 
You 185? Yeah, yeah one eighty. Well, I, I, no, not right now. I cut to 185, but then I walk around. Like fight night, I was around one, 199, 200. Yeah. Really? Yeah. How much you weigh right now sitting there? Uh, I'm a guess. After all this chopping life, Texas barbecue, from oh. 207, 205. God damn, you look no. lean as fuck. Yeah, skinny boy. But I'm muscle weighs more than fat. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So I mean, uh, so what do you think about him? Is is he real? He's, I, to- I respect like his last fight. He he showed up. He showed what's up. The guy he fought, Jin Aliang, was is like a legit contender. But his next yeah. fight, Gil- Gilbert Burns, is a guy who will really test him. But I think uh, that might be a a harder fight for him than people think, and also an easier fight for him, for him than people think. Burns for yeah. Burns or for for both? Like that's the thing. I think Kamza. From what I'm hearing, he's really good. But I'm like, he's not even in my weight class, so why I got to pay this guy any attention? Right. Until he does something that makes me take notice, that I'm like, okay, yeah. now I have to take him seriously. Yeah. But at the moment, it's just barking in the wind. Yeah, yeah, It's like yeah, when yeah. the dog barks at the moon, it's normal. When the, when moon, the moon barks, barks back at the dog, dog it's news. Exactly. Wow, you know. All right, let's pay some bills, man. Come back and some asking idiots. Yeah. Uh, upstart. Salute to Upstart. Are you carrying a credit card balance month after month? You're not the only one. High interest rates make it hard to pay off your debt, but Upstart can help. All right, join the thousands of happy borrowers who made that final payment. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online, whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses. Over half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple fixed monthly payment. Unlike other lenders, Upstart looks at more than just your credit score, like your income and employment history. This means they can offer smarter rates with trusted partners, with a five-minute online rate check, you can see your rate up front for loans between $1,000 and $50,000, okay? You can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash idiots. That's upstart.com slash idiots. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com. Slash idiots. You want to do fit bod shows? You guys read so well. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't do it. I don't read like Bayward or nothing, but like <laughs> I was, uh, I'm dyslexic, so I'm a little bit. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, you need to do fighting, bro. That's yeah. You know what that means. But, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a gang. Guys, uh, this episode has also been brought to you by FitBot. Okay. You guys need to take your health seriously, and taking your health seriously is taking care of your body. Okay. It's the beginning of a new year, so there's never been a better time to get back into shape. But between balancing work, family, and life in general, it can be hard to make fitness a priority. You need a program that works with you, not against you. FitBot's innovative algorithm learns about your goals and training abilities and crafts a personalized training regimen that's unique to you. Okay, so start the year off right now with 25% off a FitBot FitBot membership. Okay, I'm telling you, this is life-changing game changing. Take care of your body. Take care of your mind. You take care of your life. It's simple as that. I know I fall apart when I'm not working out. This has made working out incredibly easy for me. Um, I got to stay off the treadmill, which can be difficult for me at times. So FitBot is the perfect thing. Now, if your New Year's resolution is to get into shape, it can be tempting to look at models and celebrities for inspiration, but that inspiration can quickly turn into demotivation, okay? Fitness isn't about comparing yourself to others. It's about working to become a little better version of yourself. So FitBot's algorithm uses data to create and adjust a dynamic fitness plan just for you. You'll have access to your personalized routine on their easy-to-use mobile app so you can start making progress on your goals anytime, anywhere. So make sure you check it out. It is the thing to do. You'll have access to it whenever you want. Kick off the new year and get started on your customized fitness plan with FitBot. Get 25% off a membership when you sign up now at fitbod.me slash idiots, okay? Fitbod.me slash idiots. That's where you go to get 25% off a membership when you sign up now. That's 25% off your membership at fitbod.me slash idiots. Let's get back to the show. Okay. All right, back to the show. Um, I've got to salute Kodak Black, man. Legend. Kodak Black, you bought me so much joy this week watching that bar stool. goddamn. I Yo, don't even know what that to was. shout out to Caleb Presley, man. This guy's that brilliant. That shit is hilarious. You need to... Let's let's make that happen, bro. Ooh, what's let's this? Make that happen. Both of y'all need I think, to go. I think I'm, neither I one of us are entertaining as Kodak Black is. Wait, what do you do? That might be true, but he's but just Kodak funny, Black, man. I think that's another guy who's just uniquely himself. Like, yes. yeah. I don't. I know my brother likes his music and stuff like that, but I just see him all the time on social media, just doing like he's just a, a walking meme. Let me I, drive the boat. 
I Did love he get his shot? music. Oh, I know he got Bro, shot. That's... Yeah, he got shot this weekend. Shot yeah. My name is Gordon Black, but when you see me, I'm white. How come? No, he said that. Oh, wow. Bring the biggest gun to a knife fight. <laughs> Y'all gonna stop fronting on Yak. Yeah, he's a legend. Right. Anyway, this guy's great. And yeah. he can't, listen, say what y'all want. I listen to Kodak Black music. Kodak Black makes incredible music. Mm. I would go so far as to say, for, I don't even know what generation you say would even put him say in. Say it. But say it. When it comes to songwriting, say it. Songwriting, hook writing ability, I don't think there's nobody better. What did Duval <laughs> say? Who did Duval compare him to? Well, Kanye. I'm not going to go that far. Don't what he say? Yeah. Who Kanye? Well, I get what Duval was saying. Though. People gave Duval a lot of flack. No, Duval was like Pac? Kodak raps as be- as good as Kendrick Lamar. Oh wow! <laughs> you know what I mean? No, Kodak said he's. The I Pac. can't say. Well, he's this generation's Pac. I don't. I'm, I'm not. He gonna said say he's that this either. generation's Beyonce. I, I agree with Beyonce. that. I think that he's Beyonce. <laughs> of this generation. I mean, looking at those dance moves on Bosco, he got some dance moves. He does. But I get what Duval was saying. All Duval was trying to say in a Florida way mm. was that. Kodak Black can really, really rap. Yes. The, the pedestal he's on. That's it. He was just oh, saying, God. he was just simply saying Kodak Black can really, really rap. Mm, and man. Kodak Black can really, really rap. And he makes really, really great songs. I love Super Gremlin. Mm. You never heard that song? Nah, I probably oh, heard my brother probably We could have been superstars. Mm, yeah. Riding around in jacking cars. Wrong again. Now it's not safe for you. Yeah. Cause you switch like a pussy little bitch. That's hard, man. Did he, did he get booked at Bar Mitzvahs? That's when you know he's nice. Man, shut up. What? <laughs> How do you even know what a Bar Mitzvah is? <laughs> I've been singing that song wrong all for, since it's been out. Why? Wow, you I think thought he said riding around in fancy cars. What is it? Riding around in jacking cars. Oh, oh jacking cars. cars. Listen, cars. if you listen to this song, he sounds so hurt that him and his homeboy not doing crimes together no more. And who's yeah. his homeboy he's talking about? Some shit my home. I don't know. <laughs> is that the other guy from Florida that he's kind of like beefing? It might be. Jack boy, it may, I think is it a diss record? I don't know. But it's just one part of the song. He was like, I've been raising my children. And then he goes, you ain't helped me with none of them killings. <laughs> Man, contrast. <laughs> <laughs> but he sounded so hurt, man. We could have been superstars riding around jacking cars. Yeah, that's fire, dude. Like, yo, the, the, the super gremlin is hard. I just, I, I really appreciate Kodak Black's music, man. He's a stake for us. He's dope. So what do you think happens with a Kodak Black? Kodak, it's going to be a moment where Kodak Black is going to absolutely be the biggest rapper in the world. Hmm. Whoa. It's going to be a moment. It's going to be a moment. Like Trinidad, Whoa. Like Trinidad, it's going to be a moment. I, think, I know I'm getting old because I start to like, you know, when you look at these rappers coming up now, and like I said, I can't even speak on it because I don't know his music like that. But then my brother is always bumping dr- like trap, drill. And then I realize I'm like, I'm starting to be like one of them old heads. Like, ah. Oh, yeah. What are these kids? Yeah. 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 What, what? I, I, I catch Easy, myself. I'm 43. Yeah. But I catch myself. And there's times I fuck with certain people from this generation's Please. raps or certain songs. But I catch myself. I'm like, you know what? This is their moment. This is their music. Let them enjoy it. Don't what did have y'all to listen to this? See, I grew up in the South. Mm. So stuff like Kodak Black. You know, 21, all that South shit I like. I but it still on, resonates with you. Yeah. Like young, young Charlie yeah. Charlie to it. yeah. I grew up yeah. on Trick Daddy. I grew up on 3 6 and, you know, Little John and yeah. Tip and, you know, I grew up on all that stuff. Mm. Scarface. I grew up the on Ghetto Boys, stuff. UGK. Like, I love, that's, I like, I like down South music. Yeah, that's I'm the thing I listen to now. I don't listen to gospel. That's Man, all. stop <laughs> lying. Why you lying like that for no reason? I, I, I believe you. My shit is gospel music right now, bro. You don't listen to anything besides gospel? Barely what about at those thing. bar mitzvahs that you're frequenting? <laughs> <laughs> I played at a bar mitzvah before. I played at a bar before. <laughs> I did, though. I don't even know what that really is. Me All right, know. what else we got? Uh, the Super Bowl happened. Do we care? Yo, did, yo, did y'all think played. the halftime show was that great? Fire. Yep. yep. I liked it. Fire. I, I think I didn't was, see it in a line. Like Pretty there, there was there was moments. I felt like it was just nostalgia. Nostalgia. Yes. Yeah, it was nostalgic. Bro. And, the bit with 50 Cent pulled underneath. Even the fact, the way he handled just the memes. I was just oh, like, yeah, he yeah, leaned so right in. 50's funny as fuck, though. Yeah, like, he knows what he's doing. That's he's how you know 50 funny. I yes. love the fact that he just tags, you know, the, the cognac and then his shows underneath. It's all marketing. He understands yeah, all how marketing. He this whole it. thing works. He totally gets it. Yeah. He's, I loved it. bad publicity. And once again, I'm 43. Yeah. yeah. So when I'm looking at that stage, it was I'm looking you. at it like, <laughs> that is, that's Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. That's, that's my daddy made me cut my hair Cause yeah. I, he thought I thought I was Snoop, and mm. Snoop had a murder charge. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's Mary J. Fucking Blige. Yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean. Like that's 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 us 
looking at the real love video like, damn, she bad. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And this, they're on the Super Bowl halftime show. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, man, this is a genre of music that C. Dolores Tucker was throwing the CDs on the ground. Like, those artists in particular, Snoop yeah. and Dre, and running their shit over saying how bad they were. What you like about the it? children? Um... I, no, I just thought it was fine. Everybody was like, oh my God, this is the most amazing Super Bowl it ever. It was huge. I, I thought it's this... always recency bias, though. That's the thing. It's yeah. recency bias. Yeah, I what wasn't a big fan about? of the set. <laughs> Beyonce's was better. Bruno Mars was better. That's 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 ridiculous to even compare them because it's two different type of artists. First of all, Beyonce. We're talking about the best ever. Like, we have to compare. Production. No, Beyonce's a performing yeah. artist. Yeah. yeah. So of course her show is going to be bigger. She's dancing. Well, there was She's performance got in this one. Wall- he was crip walking. No, yeah, he was crip walking. You had a Kodak, not Kodak. Uh, Kendrick had had the choreography. You're talking about the production, the win. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask I mean, you a simple yeah. question. When Eminem you took a knee. There was performance. Yeah, was that not corny a little? It was forced, right? Was the, I don't even. I, I missed I, it. I I saw the knee, but I didn't get the the correlation until I saw social media shade from. I was like, oh, I get it. It's Listen, so f- I'm not really mad at children. it because he got what he wanted out of it. Yeah. Oh, 50? Hilarious. No, no, no. Uh, and, <laughs> my man lagging. <laughs> Oops. I, I, he, he got what he wanted out of it, you know what I mean? Like, and by the way, it, it feeds into Eminem's persona. And I'm going to tell you what it was genius about that. Does it? I'll tell you what was genius about it. Prior to the show, they leaked that the NFL did not want him to knee. Mm. Oh, so it was They a big leaked deal the story. And I saw that story. The story was NFL tells Eminem he can't kneel. So when he did it, immediately social media goes crazy, like like they was gonna tell Eminem what to do. Yeah. That's Eminem. Eminem's the right. So you know. So now I, you're I doing it, it, but now you're doing it for the headline, not for the cause. Who's saying he's not doing it for the cause? Do we know? Now you're doing it. it to be a rebel, not because you support the thing. And I, I don't mean, know what his intentions you know? are, yeah. but like I don't know, it just felt forced, bro. I was like, Are you allowed to talk about Eminem like that? As a white man? <laughs> <laughs> I that was forbidden. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's cat, bro. Ooh, that's right. I'm okay. with Cap. Look at Alex. <laughs> oh, he he looked at Alex like, okay. okay. <laughs> That's Cap. Minute marker. But listen, Alex, you. It's Cap, bro. When, when did you ever see it? When, when, when have you seen hip hop that big? No, no, long while. No, no, long while. Up that in was smoke, just, maybe? Yeah. That yeah, was, it's been a long time. But I'm talking about you know, on, a, on television? I yeah. can't think of a time there was I've seen There moments it. through all that where it was just like, oh, and you hear that track play, and then Dre jumps on the piano. Ding, 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 and ah! Oh, bro, those bro, moments. That, the piano it. thing was great. Yeah. Yo, Snoop is the main. Yeah. Snoop is underappreciated. I can't believe it. Like, smoke everywhere, bro. No, no, Snoop is under... I think we don't appreciate Snoop enough. I agree. I, you're right. And I can tell you why we don't appreciate why? Snoop enough. Oh, he's been through Because he's, he's, he's so regular. Yeah, because he's so he, relatable. He's, he's yeah. so humble. That's uncle. That's right. He's uncle. so, Everybody's he's so humble. We don't appreciate him because he don't even put himself on that pedestal. Yeah. Yeah. But he's royalty. Yo, yeah, you name me any person. I'm not talking about rapper. I'm not talking about black. I'm not talking about white. I'm talking about any person ever. That don't know Snoop? That also, but who's consistently been themselves since day yeah, and one. And smoking everywhere. Yeah. That's yeah. part I like. Nope. Snoop has never conformed to anyone and everyone is conformed. See how they were all in black? And it's like, oh, you know, we're going to have this for the uniform. And Snoop's like, yo, nah. Yeah, throw it up. I'm throw it up. Throw it out. Yeah. Dripping. Like, I've yeah. never seen it. I've never seen an individual like Snoop that mm-hmm. literally shows up as himself Every everywhere. Yeah. I, I wonder if he do that at T.D. Jake's church. I wonder if he smoked. 100%. 100%. You think he's smoking there? It's the burning bush. <laughs> they would absolutely yeah. be in there blowing it down. Uh, yeah, he's just such a unique individual. He's so talented. He's even when he raps, it's Snoop and only Snoop. Nobody else even really raps. Even like when he that. talks, man. When like talks, when, when, yeah, when, yeah, I, when yeah. I was at the the fight, commentating with him. Eventually, oh, that's right. You guys up, did the fight together. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and cool. I had the pleasure of having a joint with him in the uh, one of the suites. And just the way he talks, his cadence, it's like he's always in that flow. Yeah, like, he's just so cool and into it. Like, like you know, drug test uh, yeah, you get drug tested, but like this is before the, you know, like this is just. Oh, so you can't smoke. Yeah, you can't smoke. Yeah. Okay, the gotcha. threshold is higher now. Before a fight, just, you just can't be like say high on fight day. Got you. You know, if not, then yeah, they snap you and find you for that. Listen, I loved everything about it. I thought Dre and Snoop delivered. They didn't play it safe at all. Yeah. Um, I thought Kendrick delivered. He didn't play it safe. I I literally told Glass Malone. I said I want Kendrick to. Pl- I want him to perform Good Kid, Mad City, mm. and I want him to perform I. And, and, and Glasses thought he would perform some other records just because they're higher charting 
Mm. But he mm. went for the cultural anthems. Yeah, dope. Mm. And that shit worked. You know what I mean? I love Mary. I No More Pain. I was like, that's an mm. interesting song choice, but she fell out at the end. Yo, she <laughs> killed You know what end, I mean? Bro. Like, that yeah, was the perfect was song to do that because that's what became a meme. Her taking yeah. a nap yeah. at the Super Bowl halftime show. Like, I loved it. 50 coming out, hanging down. Like, that oh, shit was Larry. perfect. I don't know, you know. That's, <laughs> that was, it was a great show. Yeah, yeah I thought it was nostalgic, funny. nostalgic. That shit was. I don't know what y'all wanted. I want y'all wanted. What, what else you wanted? What you wanted? Maybe. Um, I would have added one thing. <laughs> I, okay, go. I have an idea too. But I would have added Ice Cube coming out in the beginning, saying "Straight out of Compton, oh, a crazy motherfucking name." Oh. No point. You're not even from this era. Uh, a crazy motherfucking <laughs> name, Ice Cube, <laughs> with a stupid dog. Like, cause that would have scared people, right? Cause that's. Oh yeah, shit! Yeah. Right, and then that's that's true. A surprise, or get the blood, or get the blood. a surprise. Yeah. Announce to these other people, but then have a surprise. What I would have liked is if there was some form of like collaboration between all of them. So you know what I mean, like a song that all right, Eminem singing this person's verse, and Snoop maybe is on the song. The right, collaboration so was Dre though. Dre was Dre the unifier, all those records, I think, but I, I, for, for, I wanted to see them all said? together. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, and Mary that. could sing the chorus of it. But like, imagine there is this iconic song that now they're all. Ta- I love the fact that Anderson Pack was playing the drums. Yeah, yeah, like I was sick. like, okay, let's connect all the these choir. people. Like, like that's sure. all Dre though. Mm. Like all, all of that is Dre. Anderson Pack is Dre. Fifty is Dre. Mary did aftermath. Yeah, it's all yeah, aftermath. Yeah. Fifty. Uh, Dre did a uh, dancery for Mary. Like. M's is all. It's like all of that is Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre is the greatest hip hop producer and top five musical producer of all time. Somebody said this. They're like, uh, this is Beethoven, proof. Bro. Maybe it was you. <laughs> well, we'll talk about that. Uh, he said, uh, okay. maybe this is proof. This is proof that nobody could see Dr. Dre in a verse. Nobody. Not even Jermaine mm. Jepi or Oh, or God. I don't got to say it. The sweatpants is tight, bro. If you're talking about no, producing not. or then rapping. Yours tight in the mind. Producing. Timberland. No. I don't Very think you can see no. Dre. No bro. titty? Not even close. close. No Dre, titty? Bro. Diddy. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not even close. All of these people are great, and they got records that we would love to hear, but when you hear them compared to Dr. Dre's joints, it'd be like, eh. Yeah. Like, come on, because think about it, when you come... When... No. 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 Because when you're going against Dre, you're going against Snoop, Eminem, 50 Cent, Giants. Kendrick, The Game. You got Tupac records. You got Dog Pound records. What are you going to do? And by the way, by the way, we're not even talking about the NWA era. Yeah, Yeah, forget it. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Like, what are we talking about? There's no better hip hop producer than Dr. Dre. And guess what? I think Diddy might be better in R&B. Yeah. But, do you really want to hear that against these Dr. Dre gangster West Coast rap tunes he going to play? Does Jay produce it all or that? Who? Jay-Z. No, no. No, just raps. Uh, I bet. He wrote still? Honestly, the only one that could fuck with Dre is Ye. Hmm. Yes. I don't think so. Yeah. No. Yeah, Ye got yeah. some fire. Yeah. 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 I don't think so. Get the blue yeah. And low key. He got, he got and low key. Here. And I'm not a Kanye celebrator by any means. I, I if it's just production we're talking about, I, don't think so, I think Ye yeah. got him, bro. I'm a, the only reason I don't think so is because when you're talking about it, yo, the chronic is 30 years old. Oh, yeah. Think about that. The chronic those slaps when you hear this piano. That's ding, 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 ding. Yeah, that's iconic. it, bro. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's it. Yeah. 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 Yo, you want to know what's so crazy about <sighs> that piano? Yeah. I, there's this, there's this little video going around of this kid who plays it in his high school for a the talent gym, show. Yeah, Have you yeah, seen yeah, the yeah, gymnasium? Yeah, 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 those yeah. kids, they still know, weren't even born when that shit came out, yeah. but they go crazy. Yeah. That's different. That's what is Kanye doing? Dre plays in the juice. Oof. What is he doing? Dre plays a G thing. Oof. What is, yeah. what is he doing? He plays great great plays NWA fuck the police. Give it up for God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jesus man. walks through. Yeah. <laughs> like, certain people are just different. And we got to respect yeah. them for being different. And I know it's fun to do the verses mm. and everything. Certain people, you just leave alone. Mm. To me, Dr. Dre is one of those ones you leave alone. Now, yeah. if you want to do it just to do it and you do Dre, if Dre versus Diddy probably would be the closest thing. Mm. Al's shaking his head right now. Talk like, to me. If the younger generation is listening to that versus, they're going to say Kanye wins. Kanye all day. Ooh. I doubt it. Yeah, I'm telling you. These records, and that, to your point, these are timeless records, bro. Like these guys, these, they, they know Snoop Dogg's records. Mm. They only, know only Tup- couple, Tupac's couple, records. Not all the ones that you listed just now, but only a couple. Yo, Eminem is still, Eminem has still been top five screamed artists of the last decade. Eminem. Yeah, everybody yeah, knows that's Eminem. That's Dr. Dre. As I'm saying, like, Dre, Dre's different, bro. Different. 50 state like, the, people were arguing online about di- wh- wh- what generation that was. Kids like, we know them. That's our shit, too. Yada, yada, yada. It's different. Dre's different. Yeah. He's different. Mm-hmm. I love Kanye. 
Dre's different. Mm. It's different, different animal. There's and also art as well. Art's subjective. So what is the beauties in the eye of the beholder, the ears of the beholder? Mm-hmm. So yeah, it just depends who's watching it. Mm-hmm. Uh, wherever they have the verses, whoever's watching it, whatever the crowd predominantly is, might lean one way or the other. Yeah, I hear I hear and I think that's kind of what I was saying too, which is like these kids, they just might not have that connection. To Dre. The yeah, they can't relate the to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But our generation is, in it, is interesting because we lived through both. Lived yeah. through so both. I'm wondering, like, if we're watching. But we know the history as well. And the, like you yeah. said, 30 years, the chronic. You yeah. know, like the meaning of what that actually means for it to last this long and yeah, still real. stand the test of time. Because yeah, those right? were the memes online during the Super Bowl. It was what? all the little kids were falling asleep during the halftime and all our generation was turning up. Oh, really? Way, yeah. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. By the way, and either. also too, why does Dre need to cater to those little kids? Nah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. He know why he there. Like, let like those little pastor. kids be little kids. Like, why? Why? Yeah. Like, I don't even know why we do that anymore. Like, mm. let the young demo be the young demo. Yeah. Because they're not even into their shit like they think they are. Yeah. The shit they love now, they won't love ten years from now. Mm. Trust. <laughs> <laughs> it's so the only thing we got in common. <laughs> let's do a couple asking idiots and get up out of here, man. All right, let's go. What we got? What we got? Okay. Oh. Oh, this is a good one. This is for you, uh, Izzy. <laughs> what are your toxic traits? My toxic traits. What's a toxic trait I have? I pl- I put something on my story recently from Jordan Peterson, um, and I thought it was pretty powerful. I learned this a while ago. It's something about be a monster. You know, there's a quote. Um, it's better to be uh, a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. So he, he, I think Ooh. so. What did he say? He said, "I shall play it." It's on my story. That's interesting. Two seconds. Yes. Two seconds. Dangerous. Stand by. I don't yeah, believe you that. You have to be. It. Yeah. Yeah. What was he saying? You have to be a. Because um, uh, what if the war? What if we need food? Turn this up. Gardener can grow food. Wait for you it. You should be a monster. You know, because everyone says, "Well, you should be harmless, virtuous. You shouldn't do anyone any harm. You should sheath your competitive instinct. You shouldn't try to win." You know, you, you don't want to be too aggressive. You don't want to be too assertive. You want to take a back seat and all of that. It's like, no, wrong. You should be a monster, an absolute yeah. monster. And then you should learn how to control it. Control it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's better to be a warrior. Always stay dangerous. Guard. Yeah. Stay yeah. dangerous. Stay exactly. Dangerous. I tell, stay, I tell stay all active. my younger brothers all the time, like, I mean, my nephews, I'm like, uh, be safe. I'm like, yeah, I'd be dangerous. Just know how to control it. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And because that is how you can be the most compassionate individual. Yeah. You'll be smart Hulk. If, if, exactly. If you're terrified all day, you're uh-huh. going to act terrified. Yep. And then you're going to probably out. treat people. You're going to latch out yeah. treat people like yeah. shit because you're going to be protecting yourself. If you know you're safe mm-hmm. and all these people are in danger if you get upset, you're probably going to be nice <laughs> to every single one of them. Yeah, no, no, I didn't know that's, that's real. That's life for real because I always say I never mind the guy who carried a gun around all the time. Because The guy who take, had that gun one day, you're like, uh, I'm terrified of that. Yeah, 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 Mm, you know what I mean? Because yeah. you can look down and you see everybody. So you got to be gentle. But yeah, you know, it's not really a toxic everybody. trait. But I'd say like, um, like you said, just being able to control it. So yeah, uh, when I was younger, I had mad anger issues. But then I had to learn as I got older, like maybe like late teens, that okay, you need to learn how to like not let people get to you so much and learn how to control. Like now, even I'm so good now to the point where, and I, I, I will, you know, it's, it's all, it's all, I will revert back, but then I bring myself back to the balance. Not picking things up. It's like, why do I give a fuck what Joe Blow over there said? That's right. Or type. Like, why do, like I don't even pick it up. Sometimes during fight week, I like static because, you know, I'm in that mode. I'm kind of like in that that war mode. So I like to, like, pick things up and then fuck with people. But most times, someone might say shit about me. Like, I don't even want to talk about fighting a lot a lot this week because now I'm done with the fight. I'm like, mm. ah, let me just, you know, I've, I've been in that mode. You can't, you can't redline it too long because then you'll wear yourself out. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I just want to, like, ah, take the foot off the gas and just, you know, kick it, shoot the shit. So that's why I like interviews like this because it's like it's not just like so. How do you feel about the fight? Yeah. What do you think about? It's like a little bit of that, you know, because that's what I do. This is why I'm here. But then, yeah. I'd rather just like get away from all that. So, check out, yeah. Check do people out. try? You check yeah. out, recharge. Oh, my, I just tell them, look, I'm not gonna kick your ass for free. <laughs> I get played bags, bags, bags to to kick ass. So why would I kick my knockouts alone might be fifty thousand as a bonus. So why would yeah. I why would I whoop someone's ass for free? So people, not lately, not lately, but I've had that in the past, and I'm like, I ain't whooping your ass for free. I used to hear those stories about Mike Tyson. People would run up on Mike. I knock you out, Mike. <laughs> yeah. People try. People. The thing I hate. Now, right. I don't. I don't do stare. Like <laughs> where people want to take a photo. Can we do a stare down? I did one one time with this guy, this bartender. 
you know, gets in my face and then we're staring down and then he really switches it on and I see it in his eyes. Like he, oh, wow. not that he was going to do anything, <laughs> but like he like, because he did Taekwondo or something. He was yeah. good, but he switches it on. <laughs> like he gets in my face and kind of like headbutts me a little bit. And then I remember I smacked his dick. <laughs> just kind of like, just take the, I was like, yeah. you know, I, fucking, I was going to grab it, but I was like, boom. That's what, I like, like that aggressive know. type of flirting. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Prison rules. Prison rules. That's, that's, why, for a while. that's like, why I don't do stare downs anymore because I was just like, that's fucked up. Like, why the fuck? Because I, I wasn't expecting that from a bartender who was serving me. He's like, can I get a photo? I'm a big fan. And then stares down, squares me off. And then like, he just like puts his hands down and comes up close and nods me. And then I'm just like, what the fuck? Boom. And I really just checked him so quick. Mm. I was going to grab it. But he's lucky, uh huh. Well, he wasn't yeah. expecting that either. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so just it's, it's kind of like what Caesar Milan does to the dogs, like snap him out of it. Yeah, yeah snap him out. Yeah. So yeah, that was. And since then, I'm just. I like, do that man. with a little pat on the chest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, please, don't, mean, please, don't please. By the way, please don't be the bartender that tweets out. I was the guy who's dick. <laughs> <laughs> he did grab. He touched my dick. He did grab. He actually <laughs> grabbed it. I let you. Let's get another one. Um, uh, Alex, give us one more. What advice would you give someone who seems to have it all except a significant other? Oh, that's a good one. Braden712 says, how do you differentiate your own anxiety from reality? Can Ooh. You? Yes. All right. My way. Um, let me give an example, a recent example. My own anxiety from reality. Uh, okay. So we were through this lockdown in, in Auckland from August for like three months, something crazy. And then like I said, through all that, you know, when you're locked down, it's it's isolation. This is how you, this is what they do to prisoners. What do you do to prisoners when they behave? You you isolate That's them. That's right. So I'm, I'm blessed that I had, you know, one of my best friends, Chance, who lives with me. You know, we picked each other up when we were down and stuff. But then I went through some shit that kind of made me question myself because I was listening to the noise. That's why I say fuck the noise. Mm. I was listening to the noise of some other people that was disturbing me. And then it wasn't until, and when it starts to get in your head, sometimes you might start to believe it. And like, am I this way? Is that true about me? But then surround yourself with your real ones. Mm -hmm. For me, that was one thing that really helped me. Surround yourself with your real ones. Who just the people who've known you for years. They're like, you're not, you're not like that. Fuck all that noise. Don't mm -hmm. listen to that bitch. So it's like, yeah, you just have to like be able to understand mm. how to how to how to surround yourself with the real ones and understand who you are and trust that. And then you know, stand ten toes deep, right. ten toes deep in your mm. truth. Now, baby. Yeah, that's the tricky thing is that once you acknowledge that you're you have anxiety. Yeah. Everyone does. It's a spectrum. Look, Yo, it's I always say you, like, you need it for life. Physical health. If you don't look after your physical body, what's going to happen? You're going to get physically ill. You're going to get right. sick. Yeah, if you don't look so, after your mental, mental health, you're going to get mentally ill. So the, even the way people use the term, oh, he's got mental health. I'm like, everyone has mental health. It's everyone. Like, yeah. yeah, like everyone. it's, like, it's, it's not mental health. It's not the sickness. Though. Yes, you do. I mean, <laughs> yes, you do. Everyone gets and anxious. PTSD. Everyone gets unless, anxious. Absolutely. Unless anxiety is claustrophobia. That's yeah. part of anxiety. Yes. You get anxious. All right, that's it. Then. Yeah. That's no, all I got. You got other anxiety. I mean, a rat. <laughs> yeah. That's, oh, yeah, rats. Oh. That's a phobia. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's not anxiety? I don't. I don't, I don't. Maybe the thought of a rat being around might give you anxiety. If you uh, saw a rat scurry right now. If I right see now, it, then I wow. Then you, you just talk about like, rats all day on peace. Yeah, no, yeah, it can, it can give anxiety though. And just the anxiety right. is a, fe a feeling of being <laughs> anxious, <laughs> being on edge. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean the cra and the crazy thing about anxiety too is like if you're one of those people who you believe your thoughts become things. Yeah, like when you're sitting around <laughs> thinking all the negative thoughts, you think you're manifesting, think you're manifesting yeah. this negativity, and that shit makes your anxiety even more crazy. It so. happens. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I I guess the biggest thing when it comes to separating uh, anxiety from what's real is just realizing that's your anxiety. It's like when yeah. you're high yep. and you're telling yourself like, okay, I'm just high. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Like for exactly. me, that's what it is. That's it. Control. Just, yeah. Okay, that's just, I'm having a panic attack. Yeah. Relax. But Take you a can, few deep breaths. Ground yourself on another thing. I like to like, like this is, I've had, wow, one of my bad ones was maybe uh, over two years ago and I remember just being out the car and I just, I was bare feet and I just held the ground. Oh, I love that. Held the ground and just like hand on the ground, just breathing because it was real dark shit I was going through. Hmm. So I held the ground and I just breathe, breathe, breathe. And eventually I just realized, okay, it's okay. I'm just having either a panic attack. I thought I was possessed. I was just like, it was really <laughs> that bad. Man. Yeah. Like I'd never done anything like Did that Did you ever, before. do you use it for fuel? Fuel. Anxiousness can be used as fuel, but at the right. So before fights, right, there's waves. I've learned how to, like Butterflies. my breath. Yeah, butterflies. It's it's all it's all energy. Mm -hmm. So you just breathe through it. Like some people are like won't sleep the night before they fight. They'll literally be in bed just like 
I said this before the Whitaker fight, the first Whitaker fight, I was like, I was looking at my entrance on my phone. The, the, the rehearsal is just like, man, this is going to look so fucking sick. This is me the night before the fight. So I did not have paralysis over analysis. And I bet you Rob, because he was feeling the pressure, I knew this and I told him this. He was in sleep. He was just in bed. Costa couldn't sleep. He drank some wine and got drunk before the fight. Mm. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, like it, it, it can it can be detrimental to you. Like a like like fire, like I said, it can be used to fuel you or burn your whole shit down. Yeah, so it depends on how you want to use it. So I do get anxious before fights, but I just breathe through it. And I don't hold on to it like whatever, whatever self-talk that's negative that might pop, pop through. I just, huh? I'm not yeah. attached to it. And that ain't, anxiety like that don't bother me because you know what you're about to do. You're about to yeah. go into the ring, yeah. you're fighting in front of millions of people, you're fighting. Yeah. So having anxiety in that moment makes sense. I'll, us, it's when we're about you. to walk out on stage, we know we're going to have that. It's the yeah. it's the not doing anything anxiety that drives you oh, fucking sure. crazy. Like, that has to do with other stuff. That's, that's when it's just like, okay, it's something that you haven't dealt with. Sometimes when you smoke, when I smoke, then... You know, you get extra oh, sensitive Lord. and then it just brings stuff up to the surface. That's yeah, why people yeah. say, like, oh, I had a bad trip. I know I don't do it. I'm like, ah, uh, what happened was you just saw some stuff. That's that deep down in there. That's why I like you not. Yeah. But that's that reason. It. Sometimes I'll be on a plane and I'll just be lying down and I might have had like one or two edibles. Oh, fuck. This one time. Okay. Years ago. This is um after the Bronson, what you call it, US. This is the Madison Square Garden uh, press conference. I'm flying back to New Zealand, right? And I buy this brownie that had. 500 mg of weed in it. <laughs> oh, so I thought, shit. yeah, but I thought like, you know what? I was gonna get the thousand, the blackout brownie. But I was like, I'll get the gorilla green, and I didn't have it then. I just um, took it back home, and I had a quarter of it one time when I was lying in bed at home. So maybe a week later, and I remember lying in bed, and I could feel everything. And this was like also when you eat it, you get it's way more psychoactive than body. Huh? So then I was just like feeling my blood pulsing, huh. feeling my heart racing. Oh, at one point, I was just like, edible, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. I started to like just think of all these things and things that could happen, things that made me scared. And I was just like, man, I need to, oh, I need to go outside. I need to take my shirt off and just, you know, I, I felt like I was a werewolf almost. I was going <laughs> to, yeah, I'm, like I'm, I'm scared, gonna I'm scared of mushrooms, man. But then what I did was just hop in the shower and just turn the water on cold and just chill. And I started to pray and I was just like, yo, <laughs> hey man, me yeah. again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, just had, I just had a conversation with I God. And then, yeah. that, that's why I'm scared of mushrooms. It's like the Me ayahuasca. Is, ayahuasca. I'm, I'm definitely doing ayahuasca. 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 I can't yeah. wait. I can't wait. What did you call it? <laughs> ayahuasca. Ayahuasca. That's the variant. That's a the other variant. That's a fucking mother. Well, he knew what I was talking about. So <laughs> when you do that, um, I was close. Next time you do ground, ayahuasca. Do face down, ass up. What? 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 When you ground, next time you ground, take your shirt off. Or yeah. face in the ground. La yes, lay on your Why stomach. Why ass got to be up, though? But that's uh, the smooth to Yadi. Yadi, Yadi, Yadi's my sacred purpose because that's what she calls it to be funny. But you face, oh, yeah. face down ass up. Oh, just lie down on the lay ground. Lay down on your stomach. Oh, true. And put your ass in the air and just lay there. Put your cheek on the ground. That shit feels Are you so naked good, or man. Are you just... No, man. Uh, I'm just asking. Guaranteed. <laughs> shirtless. Pose, Yadi please. got a camera in your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> All her friends come over. He's like, watch this dumbass go hug a tree. No, watch, watch. He's going to go hug American the tree now. Video. Look at him hugging the tree. Hey, hey stick your ass in the air with your face is in the ground. There you go. They just laughing at you. Every therapist night. told me to look at my feet. Look yeah, exactly. My feet. Nah, don't trust that shit. Going on? Yeah. Don't trust it. Um, before we go, I have to say this. Um, because it's on my heart. Mm. Taylor, Izzy did not say you look like Chloe Bailey. Nobody he didn't. Said. I just wanted to say it again. I just don't want to leave the podcast with you thinking that. I don't know. Fine. I'm just Taylor, I, just say, I respect about. everything you do. So I know. Trust me, I listen. That? I listen. So I, and I want to say, that? you are a valued member that. of the team. Yep. Yeah, Fuck what that. Reddit says. Yep. Fuck the noise. You're a valued member of the team, if, if, if you have a mic or not. Easy. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Louie. Hey, it's each their own. I appreciate you saying that, bro. Thank you. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get a right. right. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. I don't know nothing. Peace. Peace. Peace.